these out. Let me go ahead and check our. Uh, it's like I'm gonna use this picture instead. No, you're not. Oh, oh the web, so the web, it. the web, it. yeah. Okay, that it's shit. Like, nah. Thanks. Yep, yeah, I'm over it. <laughs> I don't want it anymore. It's like, great, now you're gonna make me waste three seconds of my life to just convert the damn thing. Yeah. Have you played uh, Sparking Zero yet? I have not. I, I do want to, like, check it out, but I am trying to, I don't know, find a time for it or find a chance. And I, I'll I'll be a little late to the, literally to the, to the game, but yeah. But I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna go through like the I single mean, player stuff and then check out the animations and then yeah. You might as well be late to the game, to you know get to like probably the super characters, like mm. um, Beast Gohan and Orange Piccolo. Piccolo, yeah. Um, the Gammas. Are they part of the DLC? Yeah, they're part of the first wave of DLC. Oh, oh, is it? Yeah, it is it a paid season pass or uh, is it all free? I think it's a paid. Okay. Figures. <laughs> I am not surprised. I imagine it'll yeah, be like th okay. I imagine it'd be like thirty bucks. And let me guess, like five dollars. Yeah, and then let me guess, the base game is like seventy bucks. As I roll my eyes, but yeah. I mean, with a hundred eighty character, you know. All right, but it's a yeah, the, it's an arena fighter, though. Of course, it's gonna have a bunch of characters. <laughs> it's arena fighter, and as a whole, there's. I have to say, I, I mostly you want to see everyone doing the same. Mm -hmm. um, strings. Attacks, yeah. Strings. And Kamehameha's or A beam attack. Mm hmm. Dodging and all that stuff. Yeah. I mean, those kind of uh, games, uh, movement is a huge part of it, kind of like with uh, those, those Gundam games, I imagine. Those mecha games. Kind of the same principle from what I've like sort of noticed. You do want to be good with movement. Good with your movement until your eyes just said, Yeah, no. <laughs> you are now going to develop motion sickness. <laughs> um. Hey, uh, did you check the sound on your end? Yep. Okay. We good on your end? We are good. Okay. I uh, I do hear us as well, so we should be. Got my butter. I don't know why I look. Is it the nut? Is it nutter butter? Yeah, it's the nutter butter. Okay. I don't know why you look bloomy. Like... Yeah, oh, yeah, it's it, right? probably because the yeah, it's because they're I think your lamp or something. Whatever. Shining. It, it also might be um your camera being dirty, so you may want to wipe it once a while. <laughs> once a while. I was about to hook two of my camera, but I was like, no, nope, oh, not, not, not. <laughs> like, Ooh. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think it's just your lamp just happening to shine at that perfect angle of the your um of the bloom or glare what do you want to call it glare bloom okay there. Uh, <laughs> all right Hook um, to look, everybody hooked up. I, I i have no i have actually have not seen like the actual video of that that girl no. or whatever that woman you 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 lose brain cells and yeah i don't know how she has a uh i think it's podcast 
Yeah, like she signed on to Kit, right? Uh, I think so. Something like that. I don't... No, 500k, like 500k or something. Like, like, it's a big, big load of money that she she got signed up for. And I'm like, like, why? I don't get it, man. I don't get it. No, I do feel to some extent that she is just she is not your ordinary sort of person i felt like she was already in a talent agency right oh and, so it was like uh not a setup but yeah i would say it's kind of set up to some extent okay i didn't want to kind of see it because i was looking for a different word but i was mm-hmm. like you know what like the circumstances aren't as you know coincidental or whatever you, whatever the word is as people want to think because like i don't it's, i don't know man it's, it's it's so weird to like um see stuff like that it's just like all right you know all right you know uh, they they say this one thing or oh they, they, they do this one thing oh they're instantly famous de- this multi-million dollar hundred dollar hundred thousand dollar deal or plus whatever all that bullshit like no it doesn't it doesn't happen like that overnight or a couple weeks or whatever and it's the same it actually actually goes um that goes for like a number of those people like a a number of those famous like quote-unquote famous streamers and such all those higher up the higher up streamers right and I'm not saying all of them, right? Because we we no, we, we that yeah. select a few. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because we we know at least one that's like you know a genuine he who 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 grew organically stuff like that, right? Like you know, but humble um beginnings. Oh no, humble beginnings. Yeah, right. But yeah, like you and and and, and, and you and are we, you are humble. Yeah, and and we've seen the growth. We've seen it. Like it's not like he, you know, he didn't get famous like like that. Like it was, it was oh. he built up over time, right? Ten years in the making. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but yeah, people like her and selective others. It's just like yeah, I I I don't buy it. She's not, I don't, I feel like she's not some chick off the street. Like, it's some, somebody from any agency. And then they try to, like, market it or whatever <clears throat> to help generate ad revenue. And then the agency yeah. takes the, takes the percentage, whatever. And then, yeah. But... That's just my my. That's just my uh, little conspiracy thing. Whatever. That's just me ranting. That's his theory, everybody. That's my theory. Yes. And we're not gonna finish that that <laughs> sentence because I'm sure it's copyrighted at this point by and to trademark whatever, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> yes, but we know we know what we know what's going to be said. All right. Anyway, we we all know we all know. Um, and if you don't know, it's a fight. It, you, you're fine. Yeah. I guess you could say uh, they're past that generation, right? That's so weird to say, right? Ooh, don't say it like that. No. Right, yeah. <laughs> no, because like, Cause the, apparently, because uh... I didn't know, the, the, hmm? sorry, sorry, sorry to interrupt, but um, apparently there's a, a new generation now. Like, it's not, there's something beyond, what, what was it, the uh, Z, right? I forget what it was called. I I I'm, I I that that is like so so new to me. I'm just gonna type in Z and then the, I think there's something beyond that. Oh, Alpha! That's what it is. Alpha. This is this is apparently Generation Alpha is a thing now. Gen Alpha. This is us, uh, millennials. And then, um, yeah, so, ba- so basically, yeah, your birth year, 
if your birth year is within 1981 to nine, all the way to 1996, you are a millennial, whether you like it or not. Right. I mean, on a technicality, yeah, we should be millennials because we were technically turn of the century. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, we were teenagers. Yeah. By the time we were teenagers, yes, it was, it was already the millennium. So, yeah. Thus, millennials. Uh, yeah, most millennials are children of baby boomers and older Generation X. In turn, millennials are often the parents of Generation Alpha. So, yeah. That is indeed a thing, I guess. I mean, Generation X will never be as good as the Generation X, but that's me. <laughs> 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 Suck it. <laughs> oh man. Got my god. No, now just reminding my ass. <laughs> yeah. When D Generation X made the scene, everyone was doing that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, you know. Everyone... Like you could just be walking down the street and all of a sudden you just see someone doing that to you and you're like the fuck, man? All the all the all the guys in uh, elementary school were all doing that. I was doing that, and then the teachers like, Don't, "That's not even appropriate. <laughs> Don't do that." <laughs> he was like, "Don't do that." But you you have that one teacher, you know, that knows what's yeah, of course, you know what's treading, and then mm -hmm. they they will do it the same, and then that that will be like all the students' favorite teacher, are... and then all the other yeah, all the other teachers would be like, you know, you should not be, you know condoning that you know you need to set some boundaries uh, teacher will be like is it hurting you physically or mentally if it's yeah. mentally go take a break go, <laughs> go sit down over there if it's hurting you physically go see a doctor yeah you <laughs> actually hit your balls <laughs> boom oh <laughs> but yes generation x that is from 1965 to 1980 for birth years. So that will be my mom. Well, our mother. Mm, no, my, my mom was uh, 58. 58. So she's still part of the, the baby boomer. I guess. Maybe. Hold on. Let me, let me see what the My end. mom was like at, was at the tail end of the yeah. baby boomer. But Same. she doesn't come herself as the as a baby boomer. Yeah, I mean, it's it's weird, yeah, because it's like yeah, you're at the right right at the tail end, yeah, like you said, and then it's it's really when you're a teenager, right, is when yeah. um that's where it kind of counts, quote unquote. So that's when it actually you get that stamp going. You... Yeah, yeah. So I yeah, like my my mom is you could you could say she's from Generation X, but technically she is a a baby boomer. Yeah. Technically, but yeah, um, I'm sure, but I'm sure that all the old folks just lump millennials with the Z, Gen Z people. Um, yeah, Gen Z is from 1997 to 2012. Yeesh, <laughs> jeez, man. I mean, I'm one of the hardheads. If you are born, like. 1997 to uh 99 i do not count you as a 90s baby because uh, it's like bro yeah it's a little, so little, late into, little late there yeah yeah you came so late into into the 90s 95 if it was 95 then i'll i'll give it to him that's that's me yeah right because it's like still in the middle of the thing but yeah yeah what happened during 95 95 well 95 was right before like pokemon and all that shit blew up um, good question, though. That's how we start the podcast, guys. We're just drifting off and tangenting and, um... Uh... Oh, that's... Well, I just typed in, what happened in 1995? The first thing was O.J. Simpson. I was like, oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Uh, um, mm, uh, mm. I, yeah. I, mm, I mm. see. I, I'm so sorry. It was the big... <laughs> yeah. It was the... Yeah, it was the official year... Uh, of the uh, of the first for um internet the internet yeah the information age 
America Online and Prodigy offered access to the World Wide Web for the first time oh, okay. uh, that year. I'm gonna I'm gonna piggyback on your World Wide Web. You ready for a uh, fucking gray hairs? Mm -hmm. Because of the World Wide Web being you know introduced. Yes. That's when Netscape <laughs> came to being. Oh my god. I think I do recall the, uh, what do you call the loading screen or whatever? The loading logo? Whatever that. It was a globe and an N, right? I mean, it was, it was a, like. It was just like an N at night or something. Yeah. yeah. It was like a moonlit night or something. I, I, I don't know. But anyway. Yeah. Yeah. The OJ Simpson thing. I guess uh, I unfortunately do kind of recall. Oh shit! DVDs were invented during that time too. Hmm. Oh, interesting. I thought I thought they were a little later, but okay. Hmm. That's what I thought too. Hmm. Maybe because well, I'm sorry. In my household, we still had VHS and Laserdisc. Yes. Those big ash. <laughs> okay, pizza. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, let me see. Yeah, a bunch of random people. Oh, Logan Paul was from 90... Wait, let me see. Is he 95? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Five years younger than us. Jesus. Um, Post Malone. Dang, that's 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 kind of wild, man. Post, Mal Post Malone being younger than us. I mean, that's the thing, too, like, some, or, eh, I don't know. Let's just say some people age differently. You either age like fine wine, or you age like cheese. Mmm, bad cheese. <laughs> well, yeah. some good cheese. Just because, mm. like, like, blue cheese, it, it tastes better when it ages. But yeah, that's just true. Me. True. But you gotta know how to make it, though. <laughs> I mean, it can't just have age. You gotta know how to make it, too. <laughs> but, yeah. But uh, then, you know, it, there's, you know, those, those people. It's like, wow. How old are you, 30? No, I'm 12. Bruh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Um... Let me let me see ninety five in terms of uh, pop culture though. Hold on. I don't think. Well, I was thinking like singers. I don't think kind of like Britney and them were were at ninety five. I think they were like ninety seven, ninety eight. Oh, for yeah, Braveheart was a thing. Yeah, ninety five. Yeah, that's right. And LG Simpson, yes. Uh, DLC's Waterfalls. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Uh-huh. Macarena. Macarena went uh, viral at that time. Quote-unquote viral. Right? Um, okay, so... Um, yeah, Michael Jackson was still going strong in the 90s, as always. Yes, of course. Uh, Mariah Carey. Yeah, ER, Seinfeld, and Friends were very popular. Brad Pitt. <laughs> Never fucking look like he aged at all. Dude, I think honestly he looks better like now. Now yeah. Like damn man. I mean oh, I Jude would Barrymore. <laughs> also oh yeah, Jude. I would also say with uh Johnny Johnny Depp. Like he looks better now than because he was too baby looking mm -hmm. yeah baby face if, if, if that makes makes sense he's mm -hmm. too baby -looking. yeah that makes sense yeah yeah i get you i get you boy story yes <laughs> batman forever yes and apollo 13. yep yeah that's... there it is amazon oh yeah that's right they started oh yeah they, they... remember remember when amazon just sold books they just sold books that's crazy Wasn't amazon also they were partnered with um, Scholastic Books, right? Um, that sounds right, but I I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, Toy Story oh. was... Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Windows 95, of course, right? Mm-hmm. Frappuccino. 
Frappuccino was 95? Yep. Oh, I, I didn't know that. I thought it was like a little later, but okay. eBay? Yep. eBay. Yes. Oh, the, oh, the bugs. <laughs> yeah. You, I, I cannot count how many times, like, you would be playing pocket at school, and then how many times you would get fucking stolen. Yeah, yeah, no. I, I, I yeah, no, there, there was, I knew a couple kids that had the, the pogs. I never play. I never played the actual game of Pogs, but I just I just look at them like okay, hmm. but yeah, that's really interesting. But yeah, man. I mean, there was a time when anime. Yeah, there was a time when anime was just still like very niche. Like it was like what? Like you watch anime? It what was neat. Yeah, it Japanese was cartoons. <laughs> yeah, we will call them cartoons. Japanese yeah. cartoons. And yeah. In order to watch it, like at home, you'll go to like those um hole in the wall, yeah, VHS in the wall stores, and they would be selling like the recorded VHS, VHS tapes. Yeah, oh, you, you can rent them out too. Yeah, but uh, that's how I got my share of early, early anime, um, and such. And also, yeah, uh, and if you're lucky, depending on where you're where you live, you can get the uh. The local channel, not local. I'm sorry. Um, the international yeah. channels. Yeah, yeah, international. For me, it was channel 35. I want... <laughs> I, I, I and I want to thank um, HBO back in the 90s for introducing me to my first hentai that I didn't know it was a hentai, but I was watching it at night. What, so what? that was already a red flag. But what? did I fucking care? No, because I was a kid. What was? Uh, <laughs> do you remember what it was called? Ninja Scroll. I mean, technically. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. I mean, technically, it's not a hentai, but you know, there are scenes in yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. I get it. Yeah. And then the other hentai I was introduced because, again, HBO, they didn't mm -hmm. can read anything. Yeah. They just saw old cartoon. It was a. It was a horror. Yes, and I call Nightmare Campus. Don't look that up, kids. Just just nod your head and go, ah. That that, that wasn't it. <laughs> yeah. And I look I, mm -hmm. a, a few years ago I looked back at like, oh Nightmare Campus, that sounds interesting. Oh. Mm -hmm. I watched this as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> so My taste uh improved. Yeah. Question mark. Yeah, I think uh, uh, ninety five. Well, cause like yeah, like I mean, people will still don't believe this or they find this to be new, but like Dragon Ball Z, I think that was uh, around eighty nine or ninety three. I want to say, cause I know Dragon Ball was like eighties. That's like yeah. super eighties. Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball was like mid 80s and then mm -hmm. dragon ball z came out like at the turn of the 90s mm -hmm. right at 90s but depending yeah. uh where you are in the world with your international channel yes you probably didn't see it until like 92 93 mm -hmm. yeah and it was either in japanese or the ocean dub <laughs> it was one of them it was one of them yeah Mm hmm So yep. Yeah, that's how we start the um the hype cast, just talking about nineties stuff and what generations and all that stuff. So what generation are you, chat? Yeah. <laughs> Whether on Twitch or uh, YouTube, yeah. But this is two ninety six. We are almost there on the three hundred. It's been unbelievable, but we're getting there, we're getting there. Um we should be able to reach it by by November ish, uh, the three hundred. So yeah. Yep. Don't know if I have anything planned in particular, but yeah, we'll just be like, woo, three hundred, and then yeah. <laughs> I don't think we are gonna go all out for that, but yeah. Nonetheless, it is We're something. We're gonna cosplay as our favorite One Piece character. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> man. <clears throat> I mean, yours should be easy. 
To be fair, yes. <laughs> Mines are either extravagant or I just don't have the body type. Yeah, right. <laughs> Very outworldly ish. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> I might pull off Eva Chan, but it's like. Yeah. You're only going to see like the top, my like, big ass head if I try and do that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You could you could try to go for the the slim, remember? Uh, yeah, the slim version. Yeah, and they have the purple, uh, big old purple afro, or whatever. Oh yeah, let me uh, do this. Uh, uh, oh no, I cannot fit through that Dolinger um, outfit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, yeah, man. I mean, <laughs> time will do that to you, man. <laughs> but in in I. In my defense, yeah, time will do that. But in manga and anime form, the linger is f a fucking twig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. All right, so we definitely still, do. Still find it. In... Oh wait, 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 wait. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was just gonna say, I still find it funny. My friend was mad at me for being a dong flamingo. Um. You know, part of the um, mm -hmm, the uh, the Doflamingo pirates family, <laughs> your family. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. they're like you're an asshole. I was like, what? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I lost my fight, so fuck it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. I just wanted to have an excuse to wear fucking three inch stilettos. <laughs> yeah, the hat with the horns, and you know. Yeah. Well. It's easy. With that. Oh yeah, you got the hat. You got the hat. Nice. That's so cool. <laughs> That's awesome. The hat, the horns are easy to make. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And, and as a as a cosplayer, I'm sure you're like, well, uh, well versed enough to how to like approach pieces and stuff like that. Yeah, just following patterns, or you just make your own pattern and mm -hmm. just find a tube. Yeah, and then it's like ta-da, <gasps> yeah, <You> did it. <laughs> I kind of like almost want to get myself a 3D printer to someday possibly like, you know, kind of leave uh, open that door to uh, do some cosplay myself. Make you some like some pieces. Cosplay or do some cosplay or do like small trinkets. Like my friend's um, 3D printer. Yeah. He does do cosplay, but he, he mainly does like little, um, oops, you know, like coders like this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to put your pen on and stuff. Yeah, it's really yeah. So it's the little things, it's right? Nice. Yeah, it's the little things yeah. that make you really appreciate, right? But yeah, because he said if you are gonna use it for cosplay, the material is gonna cost a lot. Yeah, how big and mm -hmm. detailed you want it to be, and durable. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there are things to appreciate, and uh, we will honor um, uh, some of those uh, individuals later on. But uh, we do have some things to talk about for fighting games. Uh, it was a pretty of a dry week, uh, other than the release of Sparking Zero. Yes. Sparking Zero, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and say it, I guess. It, it already surpassed like 100K, like, what was it, players or something on Steam, at least? Uh, yeah. big, 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 big old debut. Um, I mean, you know, arena fighters tend to be more mainstream, uh, just because like, you know, it's really accessible and like, you, 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 you can do like those moves easily and just big animations, the scale, uh, especially is more fit with like the shows they watch, especially with Dragon Ball and Naruto. So that's why those Naruto Ninja Storm games sell pretty well. You have more space, you can like move or fly around, all that shit. You know, the scale you feel is more appropriate than your traditional fighting game, you know. 
Just that, that's lo and behold, everybody. Mm. When it comes to arena fighters, the character itself. Yeah. If your favorite characters in that game, boom, take off. Absolutely. Like uh, I'm, I'm still sad that Dragon Ball Fighters did not have Omega Shinron. Yeah. But Sparking Zero does. So it's, oh yeah, you easily. Know, uh, mm -hmm. give, give and take. Yeah. Still, I'm still kind of mad at that. <laughs> Fighters chose Baby 2 over Mikachu. Yeah, Super Baby. Yeah. It's just me. <laughs> yeah. It would have been really cool not... because there's already a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, right? In that game. So yeah. it would have made and sense. And also so Kid, Kid Goku. So. Yes. Yeah. Kid Goku. And then you can switch uh, it to the... I think there's a, I think there's a GT color for him too. At the, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I but again, mm -hmm. I'm not saying that GT is a good, <laughs> a good arc. It's just it was like there. There, there are moments. It had its moments. <laughs> it brought it brought us uh, some things from the the rough, right? That is GT. I mean, personally, for me, I liked Super Seventeen, but the origin story for Super Seventeen is kind of stupid because, like, I, I will admit that I, I'm almost I'm gonna say that, right? Because it's like. Oh, you just combine Android 17 and then another Android 17. And then apparently when you fuse them together, it becomes like literally the most powerful villain in that in that moment or whatever. Right? It's like, what the hell? <laughs> how, 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 I mean, where's the math there? <laughs> yeah, I know. Like if they wanted to be over the top with Super Android 17, they should have mm -hmm. been like Super Android 17 Square, you know, mm -hmm. to kind of like piss off more people. Yeah. Like, what does the square mean? Like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Square root. <laughs> Remember that shit. <laughs> yep. So it's gonna be super Android seventy square roots. <laughs> it's like, uh, wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's right. Yep. Yeah, math, bitch. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I, I always thought I actually always thought that was the strangest like thing for Super Seventeen is the fact that you just combine these like not particularly super powerful fighters. You know, it's just like, it's just like yeah, it's Hellfighter seventeen, and then regular ass Android seventeen, combine them together, and he's like as, as, just as strong as Super Saiyan four or Goku. It's like what the fuck, if not stronger. I, I, I don't know, but that could be that could be up for debate. But just the fact that he just whoops everyone's ass, you know, including Gohan and Vegeta and all all those other people, you know. That happened. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, jump into the fighting game news of things. This battle is about to explode. Quarter up. Yeah, quarter up. I mean, yeah. uh, it does involve with two uh, players for this time. Um, not, not, no, no character announcements, no nothing. And then, you know, yeah, again, Sparking Zero. But um, this involves with Punk. Uh, I forget what this was exactly. It was at some tournament. Um, and, um, he had a moment where yeah, he, he, had, he had an Evo moment. <laughs> mm -hmm, the Evo moment, yes. Uh, Oshige, o uh, Oshige, to be more specific. Yeah. Um, let me go ahead and play that. After the Avenger, wake up, Super to avoid the fireball. Crack the back and just like that, the one touch. Oh! Joseph back down. What are you standing oh. up? What are you standing up for? <laughs> no! It had to happen. Noah, hands on the stick. Yeah, so he did the Oshige, man. He he popped off way too early. He, I mean, to be fair, I guess he, he was 3 uh, or 2 0, almost beating Noah, but he uh, yeah. stood up. Mm hmm. Yeah. Also, to, to be fair, because it was the. Um, was it? It wasn't really a. Uh, the damage should have killed, even though it was like a. a it's a, a level moderate. two. It's a punish counter. Yeah, so it, 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 yeah, you would have thought that. Yeah, it would have yeah, killed. It, it was just pretty much a raw overall fucking super. 
Yeah, it's a raw super punish, yeah, punish counter, all that stuff. Yeah, that's why Punk stood up in the first place. And then when he survived that, that's how much life he had left. He was pretty much like one. Yeah. It was like, it was like one or maybe. almost to the, like that one pixel. Yeah, the magic pixel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which then, I do like how Punk, Punk's reaction is like, I'm an idiot. Like, yeah. It's like, mm. no, you're not. You're, you're, you entertained us. Yeah. Yo, come back down. What are you standing up for? What are you standing up for? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if his, like, um, his team was, like, screaming at him, like, <laughs> like, mm -hmm. the, yeah, fly fighters. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, get your ass over there. <laughs> yeah. That was, yeah, that was, that was a funny, uh, Funny fuck up on his end, to be fair. Oh man, you hate to see it, but you also love to see it. <laughs> but at least Punk was a good sport. Like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Go, yeah. go yeah. like on a ten. Yeah, he was he was laughing it. He was laughing it off. Oh man, that's funny. Yeah. No, no one took did not take any any other. Yeah. Uh, he he did not hesitate. He just took that opportunity. Just whoop. he saw it. He, he saw like, it. Yeah. He's like, bro. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> yeah. I love I love how the his team is just like, uh, but you're our idiot with the green heart. That's funny. Oh man. Well yeah, what are you standing up for? <laughs> uh that that is that is such a, a genuine FGC moment. Man. Alright. And then this is uh, pretty interesting. This is more on the more deep, not, not deep, but like a little, a little more on the deeper side, kind of. But um, this is from Daigo, you know, the great, the one of the goats of all time, right? Um, he addresses the, I guess, the flaw or, I guess, the downside of this CPT event, um, with the point system and the online stuff and everything. Uh, and there's a whole there's a whole video about it, but we're not gonna watch that. But there is a little snippet on uh, Twitter, uh, basically like kind of summing up what you're about to see in that video. So um, obviously for the listeners, you're not gonna be able to uh, mostly understand unless you speak Japanese. But there are subtitles here. <laughs> Yeah. Um, also, like, um, well, he talks about the cash here, like the cat, the cash prize. Like, yeah, you know, the first prize is a million dollars, but like, um, a million dollars worth, I should say. And then, um, the rest of it is like kind of a, a little more scatterbrained. Uh, maybe like second place is like five, yeah I mean, especially when you get to the lower side of things yeah it gets pretty bad um and then i think second place is like five hundred thousand, but like yeah from there on it's like it's yeah a little small for Man. everyone else and then it's also the other thing is that um the conversion rate is like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah rate. conversion rate at that too the yeah. conversion rate is also a big ass factor and depending on the type of person you are, um, when you do receive like big cash prizes, doesn't matter if it's like from a tournament or like Vegas, for example. Yeah. No. You you know you take out the taxes. You you are left you know like more more than what you want. I mean, less than what you want. Mm hmm. There's always that. Yeah. Um. Let me see if the, yeah, I mean, well, this is from Brian F, right? Um, quote tweeting it and saying, uh, end quote, if the CPT rules were like, uh, they were before with the point system, 99% of Japanese players would have traveled. Yeah. So it's like very, you know, vastly different and it just in incentivizes people to just play online, stay home. You know, it's like why travel and, and not to mention like a lot of the Japanese players nowadays, including Daigo, of course is just are just um streaming that's where they get a lot of their um income nowadays income, yep. yeah like the only time that these big um japanese uh, players come is for like just big 
well-known um tournaments yeah tournaments like evil so evil is guaranteed that you they will show up mm -hmm. um, yeah. the cbt cpt is kind of like that on and off depending where it's taking place mm -hmm. they might be able to travel there if it's like super far away they're just gonna be like you know all those going good luck yeah exactly some of them some, some of them do to be uh let's be fair but like some do the majority go, and some, mm -hmm. some go to these turn on uh, the cbt's and they don't even uh um enter they just they just go to just hang out and just support like I, their yeah friends. i suppose maybe they're on vacation or something but like um yeah they do they'll use that I know it's not the right word, but they they will use the excuse like, oh, you know what, maybe it's time for a small vacation. Yeah. Let me go. But yeah, it's you know, uh, we we definitely see significantly less international competition because it is it, it is sort of in incentivizing with all these like online portion of the CPT. So it's like, well, yeah, why even why even bother at that point, you know? But, um, yeah, I mean, you know, I guess it's like one of those like to each their own kind of things. Um, it like uh, it does open other doors, but it also closes other doors too. Um, if that makes sense, like, yeah, you could see more players from different places and such, but you also it, it also like shuts out, um, so to say, certain other players too, in, in some in some it, it, degree. It, um... Uh, what's what's the word? Not the um, it deters like yeah players that wants to go to this place, but once they find you know find, find out like there are so much like hoops and ladders they have to go through. Yeah, at the I, end like, yeah. they probably go like it. It's not worth it. It's not yeah, worth it. and especially in Japan too, they have the laws about you know the, how how you do prize money and such like that. So yeah. Yeah, it's it's that's a that's the tough part too. That's another tough part in that uh, that whole spiel. And um, yeah, people have their thoughts about it. Like you know, a big bird here saying, hearing Daigo implied that most Japanese players would rather stay home and practice slash stream for Street Fighter League Japan. Yeah, that's another thing too. Like Street Fighter League Japan is like more for them, right, than the, the entire CPT, I would, I, I imagine. Um, but continuing, uh, I, I, but I don't blame them. It's a lot of money for them for almost no return. I would do the same if I was in their position. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, so. That's the thing, right? Why you don't see as many Japanese, the, the you know, the well known Japanese players nowadays, and instead, especially with like Kazunoko, like it's like, wow, what happened to that guy, right? Kazunoko was like one of the big, big Japanese players, yeah. you know, Capcom Cup champion at one point, you know, big name within that uh space, but he's been way out of the, the radar and everything, and there you go, so. Kind of unfortunate, like but either he's mm. either out of the radar or some just he just wants to live on you know that quiet life and you know now and every now and then they will just pop their head going like Yeah, he's streaming Yeah. He's also oh, streaming on, yeah, he's streaming on YouTube. I've seen I've seen uh well the thumbnail for I actually have not uh entered his stream or anything. <laughs> but yeah, he's playing playing he's been playing Street Fighter and such and other games on his streams. So he's still practicing. He's still like not out of touch or anything. It's just he's not entering tournaments because it's like why? Why do that when I can just make some money, uh, uh, a good amount of money from streaming? You know, yeah. I think it's also just like a, you know, we live in a different age kind of thing too. Like th times have changed. You know, that also. And it's also that uh, um, security. Like mm hmm. Yeah. Security, um, plus they have families, right? A lot of those Family players have families. And also the, um, so I believe this is for all people, not just for the Japanese. They're just some people are not ready to be around other people, so they don't want to, you know, catch, you know, just be around people mm. for now. Yeah. This is me. Oh yeah, ever since COVID, past, yeah. Past, yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, but like, yeah, it's a security thing, a health issue, you know, health issue, or for sure, just them being being um safe. Yeah, know, yeah, to, definitely to an extent. Uh, they, I, I'm sure some of those people are still like kind of eh about uh, being around other people. Yeah. All right, so that's it for that for right now. Um. Oh well. Unless, yeah, unless you have yeah. something. Uh, it was the one. Um, something about the what was it Tekken or um, Bandai Namco mm -hmm. couldn't compensate um, a player. Like they, oh. disqualified it. they disqualified the player, but it was like unjust disqualification. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That's yeah. <sighs> I saw something about that, but I don't know the full context. Yeah. yeah. I don't know the full context. I thought you might have. No. Like, you caught know. win. You caught I win. caught win of it, but I'm just like, I don't know the context of it, so I can't offer oh, much. Fucking... Okay, so there we go. Let's so see. I found the... What's it called? <sighs> I'll put it into that guess. Okay. I found the apology, but I'm yeah, the apology. I, out, yeah, but I'm trying to find out like what, what was the uh, yeah, what causes you know what was what was the events yeah that led to this yeah, but it from memory served me because uh, it was like freaking X loves to go like. Wow, this is an interesting article. Refresh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, just boom. <laughs> put, put, um, yeah. And you're you're like scrolling, like where the. Fuck I I hate you know I what? hate when it when that See? happens. Like I'm like, oh, this is some cool art. Whoa, refresh. What the fuck, man? I'm trying to look for it and I can't find it. <laughs> it's like wow, cool art. About to hit like, likes a dick. Ah, uh, that's a penis. Yeah. <laughs> that's a penis. No, it's more. Yeah, like uh oh, Elon uh. Elon Musk says, oh, look at this. Uh, Kamala Harris being like this. Unbelievable. Oh, shit. <laughs> anyway. I don't know. But anyway, so anyway, yeah. from what I can remember, mm. a tournament in, um, person or someone who entered the tournament yeah. was wrongfully disqualified for something or another. But the following bracket fights before that unjust disqualification mm -hmm. had um had more you know more like issues than what that person got disqualified for so people are like why did you disqualify this guy for such a minuscule mm -hmm. thing but yeah. you allowed this person who mm -hmm. did a bigger you know stuff to be disqualified for mm -hmm. and not be disqualified but let them continue their match right like, mm hmm so okay. that's where everyone was jumping on. I mean, I might, I might have gotten like half of the gist of it, but that's what memory serves me. And then, yeah, this is what we got as an apology. Uh huh. Uh, it says we will update the official rules to allow players from China to comp compete via uh the last chance qualifier for the affected players from Tiger Uppercut event. We will be reaching out to cover their travel and accommodation expenses. Um, we will be inviting XCC to Tokyo to compete in the ch last chance qualifier. Um, okay, yeah. Um, yeah, it was like the disqualification was like something like that was during was because something to I believe something to do with the passport of that um, person that was next in line that it didn't meet. Uh huh. The uh the not criteria, but you know the, the check marks, and they just outright go like, "Ah, uh, you're disqualified." But the the kicker was this was like top eight. So why did you? Why did the tournament people wait till top eight to just cut off the guy when it was when they didn't, you know, um, wasn't handled like earlier mm -hmm. in in the tournament? So I think that's why people are like up in arms well also like they waited yeah it's also yeah like regional issues like why oh yeah it's like why only china like why isn't uh other china uh, other uh countries being 
clarified or whatever it seems like so it's a little more of a tangled mess than more than me see i guess um yeah unfortunately yeah unfortunately i don't have the full context of it so i i, I yeah. can't offer too much to say but it sounds like they're trying right they're trying to um, they're trying to revise and uh, yeah extinguish some flames here and there yeah. at least um yeah hopefully yeah hopefully it gets all sorted out um and we can kind of move on from there yep yeah so there okay so there, there's the first part it says we had to disqualify a player from tiger uppercut who does not reside in an eligible country under the Tekken World Tour regulations? Okay, although we did our best to explain the circumstances to the player, follow the and follow the official rules, this led to the into an unprecedented situation. We understand that this decision has caused disappointment among player or members of the community, and we consider adjusting the official rules for uh, future seasons. Okay, a little does bit someone more. Like mm -hmm. Because someone, um, when I, kids, okay, so that was the first part. Yes. So hopefully in there, like in the comments, because someone was showing like the brackets, like the top eight brackets, and they're like, there, there it is. Okay. Why not DQ here and not one match before? Yep. Oh, huh. yeah. But in, in, in saying so, again, like, they decided to DQ the guy, again, like, this is, like, I think entry into the top eight, mm -hmm. top eight or top ten. And it's like, why, yeah, so it's like, why did you not do it at the start mm -hmm. before, you know, things escalated? Yeah. Why, like, when it was already on top of the big stage? Yeah. That's fucked up, yeah, that was fucked up, I'm sure. Yeah, XCC, yeah. Made it a top 12. This should have been long before this. Yeah, dude deserves a spot. I hope there's more politics involved. Uh, more, or because genuinely the dude was cooking and you turned off the burner for seemingly little to no reason. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting a better idea of what's going on here. It's like, yeah, just because he was from China and I guess... um tiger uppercut for some reason didn't allow players from china or something um and maybe it was just like a regional tournament like maybe like it was, it was for you know this these part of the asian countries or whatever um and whatever Ch again china wasn't allowed they disqualified him like later and later after the fact not like in the beginning like people have been implying okay yeah, I'm, I'm sure that was a tangled mess, but uh, looks like they're starting to untangle some things to an extent. All right. All righty. All right. Hopefully that gets all sorted out. So. All righty. So um, let's go ahead. Frontline news. In frontline mm -hmm. news. Yes, indeed. So let's go ahead and blast this one. Okay. So, um, there are two, two, uh, people from the voice acting, uh, part of things in the entertainment, entertainment industry. We unfortunately lost, um, on top of the, uh, all the other tough losses, man, of this year, you know, first of them all is the original Dragon Ball Z narrator, um, Doc Harris. Um, when you watched Dra Dragon Ball Z, like from the very beginning of the English dubbing, it was a little different, right? If, if you noticed later on, I believe uh, Kyle Herbert took over and then that's the more um, a little bit more of the, the voice that we know. Right. But he but Doc Harris kind of established sort of like the format, if you will. Right. He was the main inspiration for Kyle Herbert to do that voice, I believe. Unfortunately, Doc Harris has uh, passed away at the age of 76 um so he provided you know the, the 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 grounds right of that sort of tone for the english dub of dragon ball z uh, he made you 
hype to mm-hmm. wait for the for next week's yes um, episode of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> yeah. I mean, also that when he did finish it on the whole thing, the the guitar riff mm-hmm. cemented it. Yes. Junior's dark ambitions were never realized, and the world was saved. Goku thought about telling his wife Chi Chi that the world was saved by their son Gohan, but wasn't sure if he should reveal what actually happened just yet. <laughs> Sensing that something desperate had to be done, Chao Tzu latched onto Nappa in an attempt to escort him personally to another dimension. A bold move indeed, but the barbarous Saiyan remained on the music, dude. Man, <laughs> this is Ocean, by the way. Yeah, it's a little different. How can we never seen this technique ever again? This the, the the multiplying technique, like. Hey 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 hey. <laughs> hey. Go, it, it's like how many years did we ask um? Ariyama's like, hey, what happened to the tails? Mm-hmm. The yeah. what? Mm-hmm. Oh shit! Yeah, they had. Oh what? <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, Where's yeah. the guitar riff? <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> well, that, yeah. That, 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 that's ocean. Ocean. Is, that was the that was the ocean stuff. Was what we saw the very first time, Ma- and then yeah, mainly, the, mainly, and then the Funimation stuff came in later on. That's why they did the reruns, right, to show their production side of things, and that's where I think uh, Kyle Herbert took over at some point, and then you know continue the uh the format i kind of want to say like the ocean dub also did not fully censor a lot of scenes mm-hmm. yeah if i remember correctly because mm-hmm. i know um Funimation did oh and then there's kyle yes kyle mm-hmm. yeah Ky- yeah he's also the voice for ryu and street fighter at least in street fighter 4 and 5 i don't know about 6 i don't I, I, maybe maybe it's the same still but yeah um I yeah. know Kyle also does like the the epic movie uh like voice, right? Uh he can do a epic movie yeah. voice thing, but no, that's a that's a different person. He's a different person, but he, he likes to do it sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he can do a uh, epic movie trailer voice thing, yeah, for sure. I think it's just the music, so I don't, I, I'm not sure. But let me see. Yeah, I think that's just the intro. This is the this is the tsunami, uh, yeah thing. Okay. Well, anyway, so what tsunami did there, everyone? They did the old uh, Saban stuff. Mm-hmm. They got a Japanese footage, they cut it up, and then just <laughs> smack it to you there. Yeah. Yeah. Is this uh Doc Harris? Ah, I don't know. We'll see. No. Oh then no, this is Kyle Herbert. Known before Gohan could even form words in his mouth. Yeah, it's, yeah. That that's Kyle Herbert. Yeah, so you can definitely yeah. hear the difference. Yep. So very unfortunate. Um, you know, he's like it's like one of those nostalgic treasures like now, you know, um passed on. He's like he was like one of those voices like you would want him to to reach your eulogy. <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like narrate your your <laughs> average life, you know, day by day, you know that sort of shit. Yeah. Oh, five to five. Yeah. I was yeah. bored. <laughs> 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 That's when everyone's just gonna be like looking at you, like, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you can you can hear in Kyle's voice that he was largely inspired from uh, Doc Harris. Yeah. So that's. One thing to point out Ooh, for sure. You are getting cold. Yeah. Any, sorry, any words you wanted to say for Doc Harris?
when we when we see you again, sir, I want you to narrate all of our lives. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I want you to be the voice of God right now. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like it's like yeah, 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 yeah. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. Morgan Freeman, but then yeah, you have someone like Doc Harris to also like narrate your life too in a different uh, tone, for sure. But thank you, Doc. Yeah. Like... <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, when that happens, like you have Morgan Freeman. If you want, like, why well, hello there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna read what an an insert of your from your book of life. Mm -hmm. Where do you want to start? Here, Doc Harris is like. So last time on your <laughs> life, like, <laughs> yeah, you fell down the stairs. It's like, ah, oh, yes, that's what killed me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But either way, uh, thank you, Doc Harris, for um, forever leaving uh, great memories for for all of us and your hard work. Uh, and deepest condolences to uh, all his uh, family, family and friends, friends for sure. I'm telling you, man, like the these passings, man, it's, it's, it's tough, you know, especially with uh, Toriyama, right? Back in March, I believe. Um, like, uh, the voice for um, Jupiter, I believe, the, the original voice for Jupiter, and then yeah. um, uh, Japanese voice for Bayonetta, and uh, yeah, you know. Tough, tough. It's tough, man. You hate to see it. Another passing, uh, unfortunately. Um, a little more on the quieter side uh, when it comes to the voice acting industry in Japan, anyway. But nonetheless, well known, I'm sure, within the industry, is uh, Nobuyo Koyama. Uh, she was the OG uh, voice for Doraemon and also the voice for uh, Monokuma from uh, Danganronpa. And if you want to talk about the newer parts uh, or the more quote unquote recent roles, right? But Doraemon is like her most well known. Um, yeah, her most iconic. Iconic role. Like she brought definitely that unique voice. And Doraemon uh, was actually one of my very early um, childhood like memories when it comes to anime and such, along with uh, Dragon, Dragon Ball, the original Dragon Ball. And of course, I only watched it in J uh, Japanese. So that's like, yeah, of course, I heard that voice. Um, a lot. So to um, hear this news uh, as a recent was uh, definitely definitely a heartbreaker, man. You know, as somebody who appreciates voices and cartoons and animation and such. So yeah, you know, um, just mo yeah, mostly Doraemon um, throughout her career. Not much else um, other than yes, the Danganronpa stuff, and then. Sazai san, hustle punch, um, Zambot, yeah, very far and few, but nonetheless, um, left uh, a strong impression amongst um, seiyus and voice actors, I'm sure. Uh, she passed away at 90, so yeah, um, most likely she passed away due to just old age. So natural causes. So uh, very, very, very unfortunate. Uh, did, have you experienced uh, Doraemon in Japanese and like the old, day, olden yeah. days? At at some point. Doraemon in Japanese, yep. Mm -hmm. But I didn't watch Doraemon as my first. Doraemon came like later, like when I was like maybe seven years old. Because when I was waking up, it was either Dragon Ball. Early in the fucking morning, mm -hmm. then Sailor Moon, and depending if it's a Wednesday, Samurai Pizza Cats. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. And then Doraemon. But it was weird that the international um, channel mm -hmm. that we were talking about earlier, mm -hmm. I don't know, it would flip flop. It would go like Japanese for a few episodes and then English. And then Japanese again. And I'm not. Like, hmm. And it was it was more funny because hmm. like um, I think middle school because you know your your memory fucking like acts up and they're like oh yeah I remember that. So, looking at the episode, it was actually in in order. It was like, let's say from episode ten to twelve, 
it'll be in Japanese. Then from 13 to 15, English, then 16 and onwards. You know, I was like, did, did someone at the channel just English, Japanese, English, Japanese, Japanese, English? Mm hmm. But I know it's engraved into our our heads of um the theme song for Doraemon. Yeah. Let me go ahead and uh actually do do a little snippet because I don't I don't know how copyright works with that, but yeah. Do a little little with the voice or the Oh no, the well, theme oh song. actually yeah, no, let's do the voice. Let's do the voice. Um well, and now, well, it's also depending which era too, because she's been like the. Cause no, she's the... she's the OG, so yeah, like very, very long ago. Um, yeah, seventy nine. Let's just try. <laughs> right, yeah. right off the bat. Yeah, right off the bat. She biscuit. Yeah. That's no, uh, no beat, uh, uh, there we go. Jesus. <laughs> I don't think even to this, this point in Doraemon's run, Doraemon never got his ears back yet, right? Hmm. No. Hmm. No, right? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. He's supposed to be a cat. So. <laughs> yeah, he's supposed to be a. He's wait, no, no. He's supposed to be an alien cat that mm -hmm. what grants wishes. And he's like a robot lost... cat, alien robot yeah. cat thing. And, yeah. Hmm. And he lost his and he did something bad and they took away his ears which was supposed to give him like his full powers mm -hmm. uh, it's been fucking years yeah yeah and uh i, I always remember like um yeah that little pocket he had um the pouch or oh, yeah. yeah right here <laughs> he pulls out like anything <laughs> it's definitely one of those like series where it can kind of like go on and on and on like kind of kind of like a spongebob it's like dated it's like the the day-to-day -day, um problems or stakes and then they uh absolve it or resolve it by um the end of the episode <clears throat> let me still, see so to this day i i still love this um mm. this version of the theme song what's up well, I put in Hypecast. I said, still to this day, I love this version of the theme song. Oh, my God. <laughs> that I'm not playing because it's Nicki Mirage. No, Mirage. 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 <laughs> that's, that's the, yeah. That's the, that's the bootleg version you'll see, like, in cartoons or whatever. But, like, <laughs> Mirage. I mean, see. just play, play, play it after, like. Yeah, I'll, I'll play it after, yeah. Again, the, the person that made that video, I was like, you know what? It syncs up well. <laughs> too well but mm -hmm. yeah and um yeah if anyone wants to watch um the raimon they're only like what like snippets yeah like short... i'm not sure yeah it's a old it's one of those old niche animes or whatever so it's kind of hard <clears throat> yeah because like it's um i think it's like always it's like one of those two episode per no, two stories per episode, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. It's like 15 minutes each, I think, ish. It's one of those ones. So you kind of like with like SpongeBob, where they do like two stories or whatever. Maybe even three. I I'm not sure, but yeah. Anywho, um, I'm looking at like how many episodes. Mm -hmm. So how many episodes is Doraemon? At this very moment, there's a thousand seven hundred eighty-seven. Yeah, it's been long running, and man. 30, yeah, for sure. And thirty and thirty specials. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. and and like the movies too. Like, there's a bunch of movies that's been going on for a long time. And then 
I'm looking at One Piece like how many episodes? A thousand one hundred twenty-one and ongoing. Let's see how many episodes for um Pokemon is like still a lot, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, for I sure. I thought okay, a thousand three hundred. I wonder if this is it. Yeah, yep. Oh, and that the little propeller thing. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Dun dun. <laughs> I'll, I'll play that. <laughs> yeah, yep. <laughs> What else do you have in that fucking pouch? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, <shit. laughs> uh, yeah, the door. Oh my god, the pink door. That's right. He always pulled out the door. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, and those are those are all Nobito's like friends. Even though the big guys are like, kind of uh, kind of a bully, but consider consider the friends still. Um, I find it funny. Because I'm looking at like longest running animes. Yes. You think Detective Conan will have like more than like let's say One Piece, right? Mm hmm Because of how long? Nope. Detective Conan is only a thousand seventy-five. Yeah. I, to, uh... the, to this days. Yeah, that's actually kind of surprising. Yeah, considering when it started and such like that. When it started, when there's no like end in sight for a detective phone in. Yeah. Oh god. Actually, the, it was supposed to be that end of the site because he did become his adult form again, and then all of a sudden he's like, "Yeah, no, I want to go back to my my child form again." It's like, but like, why? Well, no, it's more <laughs> like I think it's more like it was only a, a temporary formula or something. I think I think that's what it was. Maybe I could I could be wrong on that but yes but but nonetheless he's back to a kid <laughs> but yes now here here's mm -hmm. the question would you want to go on adventures with with the right mod? i would yeah for sure for sure yeah, no that was a that was a funny uh question uh, I, I'm, I'm sure it's not, it's not it's not it's not like entirely new or anything but like you know it's one of those like oh which world do you want to live in or something and then uh uh, someone said Dragon Ball, <laughs> and then um, I want I want to show the the, the meme with um, Aunt May. Remember she got like blown up from behind by Green yeah. Goblin. Yeah, that's pretty much like yeah that that um that's pretty much like yeah that's that's uh that that was Goku's coming home being deflected by somebody and then <laughs> that happens. <laughs> it's either that or you know you might have been that unfortunate person to get sucked by cell mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah no fuck that i would not want to be a in dragon ball z world dragon ball, no. i mean living in one piece world is not even that different too it's either you're with the pirates or you're against or you're yeah, you get robbed yeah you get robbed by pirates and you get, yeah. and you get fucked over mm -hmm, you get fucked over yeah like i feel sorry if you lived you know during uh <laughs> You lived under the reign of the Domingo family. Like, I feel sorry for you if you did. Mm hmm I yeah. feel more sorry for you if you were um, forced into uh, the Big Mom um, pirates. Oh, jeez, yeah. You're right. And then, like, yeah, and all the fucking Celestial Dragon bullshit. Like, oh, my God. I mean, it, I'm not being mean about it or, you know an asshole if you are a woman in a good looking woman in one piece you probably were sold off to the celestial dragons that's no that's that's uh that is not entirely far from the truth right or what it, yeah. or what occurs <laughs> right like yeah yep. like jesus <laughs> mm -hmm. yep and i and i still find it and then there's pokemon is like uh, are you sure you want to live in pokemon world like truly, mm, I, <laughs> read read this Pokemon entry about uh Drifloom. 
and what it does with kids. Oh yeah, that's true. Huh? Exactly. <laughs> Right, <laughs> and then, and then for you here, Hawk, read about your boy Gengar and what yeah. he does to people. Yeah, <laughs> you be like, re- you be like reading it upside down. <laughs> He's a good boy. <laughs> yeah. He's just staring at you like, <laughs> yeah, you're right. But nonetheless, uh, nonetheless, thank you, uh, Oyama-san, for all the memories mm-hmm. in our childhoods. May you uh, rest easy in heaven, in the afterlife. And, uh, deepest condolences to family and friends. It's uh, definitely, yeah. It's a... Where's your pouch? Yeah, definitely, definitely another tough loss, man. Another, yeah, like a, not another like childhood thing, like gone. It's just, you know, it's, ugh. Ah, uh, man. 2024, everyone. Mm-hmm. Yay! Yeah, that, that, this this year is surprisingly bad when it comes to um passings and such, man. Like, Tori Toriyama was a big one for sure. Toriyama is a huge one for sure. I I think I think people can definitely agree on that. Yep. Alrighty. At uh, least mm-hmm. like like what my background is. You yeah. can watch Daima, Daima his last project. project. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. And you can also play his... Play the game. Uh, his other, um, you know, the game... Uh, what's it? Sandland. You can play mm-hmm. Sandland, his other last project. Yeah, yeah. Sandland, man. Cool. Oh. That's right. You're right. Uh, I'm sorry. Did you have any words for uh, Oyama-san before we... Fully uh, head on to the next topic. It's more for um, because Doraemon is still going on. Yes. Give the cat back his fucking ears. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Right. Yeah. To kind of the kind of of close that. Yeah. Close those chapters. No. Ah, you know what I should have put here also. Ranma one half because of the um. Yes. Reboot to the franchise, which I wouldn't think it would happen. I saw the first episode. Mm-hmm. They they kept a little bit towards the um the manga, so I'm like, oh, okay. Mm, okay. I never and read the I manga. Got kind of yeah. kind of spoiled with someone posting like a scene for episode two. Ooh. I was like, wow, he's here already. I was like, we're not reading the manga. You didn't show up till like later. Damn. But it's one of my friend's favorite characters of Radma. My character doesn't show up, hopefully, till later. Mm-hmm. And that's sh- that's shampoo. <laughs> mm, okay. Oh yeah, and everyone, it, once you read uh, when you watch um, Radma, a lot of characters are gonna have weird ass names. Mm-hmm. Okay. Gotcha. And also because I'm watching it in Japanese, it's funny for me. Because Rama's VA in Japanese is the same as for Inuyasha, so it's kind of yeah. like no, it's I believe um, <laughs> isn't it for uh, same for Usopp? Yeah, yeah. That's so fu- <laughs> Dude, that's so funny, man. <laughs> oh my god, the range on that guy of characters he plays, man. I mean, well, with Inuyasha and Rama, they kind of sound the same, so it's kind of like, mm-hmm. but you can tell. Us, you know, when he's done doing their Usopp voice versus their Inuyasha voice. It it, it, it kind of intersects um, and such. It's funny. Yeah. All right. Oh, God. I got my nose. Meanwhile, little, let's uh, bring it up a little bit at least. Um, Twitter slash X has been unbanned in Brazil. So I guess after that all, yeah, Brazil. Um, after all that little turmoil, um, they said, "All right, we'll put it back on." You know, with that whole mis- misinformation argument thing back and forth. I guess, um, despite that, the Brazilians uh, are uh, have have joined back on the the Twitter platform. So welcome back, Brazilians. And, um, 
Hopefully it doesn't happen again. <laughs> but, but we'll see. We'll yeah, see. You stop that. Yeah. Uh, any comments before we move on? They left. <laughs> it's like, you know, like that, that one family member. <laughs> I'm leaving. Okay. Mm -hmm. I am back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not much has changed at all. <laughs> all right. It's like anything I miss. Nope. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but there is a big change coming. Men uh, speaking spe uh, speaking of uh, uh, changes, right? So um, YouTube, right, loves their shorts uh, nowadays. Not more than ever. Yep. Um, they and shorts on YouTube are known to be for only like a minute, whereas on TikTok it could be. I, I think it actually can go on as long as it want. Uh, I believe. But in this case, um, this is pretty big for creators anyway. Um, and I don't know about consumers of shorts, but they are um, going to introduce longer shorts. Uh, starting from, I believe, um, October 15th. I got this from my side of things since I'm, I am a, a content creator um, and I also am monetized still. So I got the, this bit of news and uh, they are pretty much bringing it up to three minutes. Um, so I guess we can just watch like the first 30 seconds or something. And across the board, we've heard that creators would like to be able to post longer shorts. We're excited to announce that we're providing more opportunity for creators to express themselves within shorts and for users to enjoy longer content within the shorts feed. So we're expanding shorts duration up to three minutes. Today, we wanna to talk about a few things creators should keep in mind when thinking about longer shorts and answer some questions we think creators may have. First, there are no changes to shorts that are 60 seconds or less. Secondly, Videos that are up to three minutes in duration and square or taller in aspect ratio that are uploaded to YouTube prior to October 15th will remain unchanged. Thirdly, starting October okay. 15th, 2024, all videos uploaded in square or taller aspect ratio and up to three minutes will be treated as shorts. These changes mm. will be out, so they may first appear as long form videos until the change is fully launched. Fourth, shorts over 60 seconds that contain copyrighted content will be blocked. This means the video will not be playable or recommended on the platform. Mm -hmm. There are no penalties to your channel if this happens. However, if you wish to remove this content from your video, you can follow the instructions in the description. Okay. Moving on to a few areas we think creators may have questions about. Monetization, music usage in shorts longer than 60 seconds, search and discovery, and lastly, timeline. First, monetization. Do three minute shorts still monetize the same as shorts today? Yes, except for shorts blocked due to copyrighted content, all shorts are eligible for monetization regardless of duration. If your short is over 60 seconds and has a claim, it'll be blocked, which means it won't receive monetization. However, depending on the content and how integral the claimed- Um, sorry, I'm just gonna skip through some of them. Um, let me see. It's, I mean, it's, the rest of it should be kind of obvious. Like, oh yeah, like you don't know, no use like those big copyrighted songs or like whatever. Um, let's skip to this part. How should creators prioritize the length of content to create? Is it better to create longer content now that shorts are longer? Right. Our recommendation is to post the length of content that makes the most sense for you and that your audience enjoys watching. Obviously, shorts okay. Surfaces aren't changing with the introduction of three minute shorts. We'll continue surfacing relevant recommendations to users across home, watch next, and directly from the shorts tab. Lastly, what changes are going into effect and when? To reiterate, beginning October 15th, 2024, New uploads that are up to three minutes in length and square or taller in aspect ratio will be considered shorts and will be reflected across all surfaces in the next few weeks. So that so that'll be pretty much when this episode will be up. By that time, um, the YouTube short effect will will take place. Currently rolling out updates to our systems to support this change, but there will be a transition period, including the addition of creation tools for shorts longer than sixty seconds. Okay, so do you do you consume YouTube Shorts to some extent or not really? <clears throat> to some some uh, extent, yes, because okay. sometimes the YouTube Shorts are the ones that pretty much is like uh, 
what's the word? It gets to the point. Mm-hmm. Like the title will say, like, I don't know, Gordon Ramsay calls, up, um, blows up, and it's like, okay, what are you blowing up? Uh, mm-hmm. Yes, the titling is very much a big part of um, the attraction, right? Or to, yeah, to create curiosity of like, oh, okay, what what's going on here, right? So, uh, <laughs> but do you, did yeah, you feel, so. yeah, did you feel like, as a as a consumer, did do you feel or did you feel at some point that you wished for these shorts to be longer, or do you feel like one minute is like the perfect length? What I guess f- it depends on the context mm-hmm. of the video coasters. Sure, because to me, some sometimes the the shorts are like the highlight of the bigger. Yeah, you know, of the longer video that's it's from, and then say, like, yeah. "Hey, wait, you, you miss like this one, and you know that that one funny bit." Yes. Where, where's the rest of it? Yeah. Some, yeah. As a creator, I felt like yeah, some um, you do want to support short um, make a short of something, but you don't have enough time, so that's why you have to like do all these like hard cuts and whatever to make that clip. To, uh, just to make it make that clip in and you know sometimes it doesn't quite tell it well you know yeah. um and that's why there were times i'm just like yeah fuck it i don't want to post this or whatever so i feel like yeah maybe the three minutes uh is a good length for for on the creator side of things as someone who does edit stuff and would like to try to utilize this more um yeah especially for like certain genres right uh, maybe for like um, instructional videos, right? You know, there's a lot of like these like re- recipes you have to do, like shove in in like a minute or so. But what if you know there are some re- recipes that require a little more explanation or instructions that require a little more explanation, and maybe three minutes is that perfect sort of Goldilocks uh, number. So maybe yeah, I mean, why not? You know, overall, it's you know, it's not it's not like you have to make a short three minutes. It's you know that's just the maximum new the new maximum length you can still go stick by the one minute format and such and um you know the fact yeah the, whenever um you do the vertical thing it'll automatically count as a short or whatever yeah you know whatever um uh i mean that's like my major overall opinion about it it's just like yeah that's that's it's cool and as somebody who is a content creator, um, you know, I do, I do, I do have my fair share of watching some shorts uh, on certain things, like uh, like card detailing, right? And sometimes you only need three minutes or whatever, or a minute, just to see, oh, if, uh, how does this soap work, or how does this cleaning product work, or something. But um, sometimes, yeah, like like what I'm sort of implying, you want to kind of want like kind of you kind of want to like explain something but you need more than just a minute so that's why yeah um yep. it, it'll incentivize less harsh cuts and maybe it will tell a smoother story within three minutes overall so we'll see we'll see how this uh plays out um i do notice though there is a kind of a notable number of thumbs th- thumb downs or whatever thumbs downs yeah why why is that i'm not sure why, why do you think is that can you take a shot at it or or no hmm well somebody said who asked for longer shorts one minute shorts were perfect anything over a minute is a full video huh Um, yeah, I mean, that could be one reason. I believe they want to add ads now in shorts, which is yeah. hard for one, le- one for less than a minute yes. video, possible three minute video. Okay. Okay. Money talks. Yeah. Okay. That, that could be, that could be a reason. And maybe people don't like that. It's like, it's like, uh, I would rather make a three minute video, long video than a three minute short video. Shorts is just saying you don't like money. 
Well, you can make money off of shorts. It's just that, yeah, I mean, obviously you might not uh, make as much money, but it's like, it's, it's, it's like, it's like the, you know, you get, you get, you get returns, right? Like if, if it take, took you only that long to make a one minute video, of course, you're probably not going to likely make, um, you know, you're, you're likely going to make less money off of that. I don't know. <laughs> I personally dislike shorts a lot and never watch them. I always love YouTube for not being like Instagram or TikTok or any of these platforms where you become dumber with every minute you spend there. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about that, but I mean, it's just depending on what you consume. It's, it's like, yeah, it's like, I don't know what you watching. Yeah. I don't understand. The, 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 mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead. The shorts that, because I watch, I guess you can call them shorts on Facebook. You know, mm -hmm. those like quick quick vids yes like mainly i watch well not watch but just go like you know that fast like it's like the horoscopes one because they they fucking make me laugh it's like and they'll be like virgos the silent but you know like which the title will be like which um zodiac sign is is most likely to be a killer you know mm -hmm. and it will be like 30% Pisces, 50% Tauruses, 98% Virgos. I was like, hmm. yeah. Push me. <laughs> yeah. Um, somebody said it. Uh, please let us choose the frame. Yes. 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 We, that's like, I feel like that's a bigger issue too. Um, like, where why can't we choose the thumbnail for the shorts i don't get it what's 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 the reason behind that if we can choose our own thumbnail for other videos right like just like your regular ass video why can't we do that with the shorts what's what's up what's up with that right i i, I truly don't get it we, we we can't even choose a frame from the video it's just like it's just a random frame from the video and you just stick it onto the the, the short uh the short thumbnail or whatever and that's why at times where you know you go through the shorts you'll see like a, that one that, that one thumbnail of like a guy trying to it's like he's like in the middle of talking so like he'll he'll look, look like this like like this like you know like you have their eyes like half closed because it's just in the middle of blinking so they look really yeah. stupid it's like oh it's like that's be yeah that's because you can't choose your thumbnails like ugh, right that's that is dumb like why 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 don't they uh address that um let me see the problem i see with longer shorts is less views for all shorts like if i'm on the short feed for 10 minutes i can view 10 shorts under one under one minute but only four and three under three minutes in which three which means six videos i have watched if there are all one minute won't get watched okay this is just uh, okay this this sentence is a little funky and those six creators would lose my views the field is already competitive enough with people pumping out multitudes of ai content I hope they address this issue yeah that's another fucking issue too they need to address that AI bullshit as well. Or at least make it so that it's clearly stated that it is AI. Uh, maybe impose limits on the, to the number of shorts per day a creator can upload. Hmm. I don't know about that. Yeah, it doesn't mean all shorts will be or have to be three minutes long. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's what I just said. Yeah. It's not saying like, oh, all shorts are going to be three minutes. It's just, yeah, it's it can go on as long as three minutes, but yeah. Um, let me see. Longer <laughs> short is not a short anymore. Yeah, see, I I, I can kind of see that sort of argument, sort of, or point. See, it's like okay. I mean, yeah, at that point, it's like, what is a short? Is it is it supposed to be, should it be one minute then? Yeah, okay. But. What defines, it's pretty mm. much, what defines a short now? Yeah, exactly. 
we do not need three minute shorts i do not want any three minute videos i make uploaded as a short for the shorter pay rate in sh uh, on shorts mm, okay maybe the pay rate ha has to do with the issue too yeah any videos i have over one minute under three and under three three that are vertical are going to be uploaded to TikTok because they pay re uh, decently for those. Mm, okay, that's inter interesting. YouTube shorts do not pay well at all. So why would I give more content for that lower pay? Thank, thank goodness for uh, Appa or Appa that allow us to change the orientation or canvas of our videos to a horizontal one. Um... Hmm. <laughs> TikTok pays decently. All I heard is their program is so bad, creators just run away to YouTube. Yeah, right. All right. Well, I, I think we can get sort of the gist of it. It's like, okay, you know, three minutes. Is that really a short at that point? You know? Um, that, I guess that has stirred some sort of controversy, but it's not, it's not like a big controversy. It's just like, yeah, it's only 317 thumbs downs versus 2,000, over 2,000 likes. I personally think, yeah, I mean, it is harder to tell a story under a minute sometimes for certain specific things. So that's why I think that three minute window is a luxury, a good luxury. Maybe two minutes, right? Maybe two, just to meet the middle ground. Like, why not just make it two minutes at most or the maximum length? And again, that doesn't mean you have to make a two minute video. It's just, you can make a two minute short or whatever. But yeah, I guess some, this, this is, this is, uh, rubbing some people in the wrong way because of like, of the definition to, of to them of what a short is, you know, and how long they should be, I guess, for those standards. Okay, so I think we can move on from there. Uh, heading on over to the games news. If we don't have any more comments. Um, let's go ahead and uh, fire this one up. There we go. Yeah, last time the iPad was like delayed as fuck for some reason. Anyway, so games news. Yes. Um, let's get these ones out of the way. So like I said, uh, Sparking Zero has been doing pretty well. This is, I believe, this is Steam numbers, yeah. And uh, this, this is just Steam numbers alone. So you can imagine like how much is, how well it's doing on console sites. Um, it's peaked over a hundred thousand players. Um, yeah, the all-time peak. I'm sure it's still going. Um, with a hundred thousand, but a hundred twelve thousand to be a little more precise. But I'm sure that's going up at, at that point uh if i were to get it i'm probably gonna get it on playstation just that's just me um but yeah no uh congrats to sparking zero uh for achieving those numbers but um yeah we'll, we'll see how long uh this does last but i'm sure i'm sure there'll be an avid player count throughout the uh the month for sure Uh, I heard that the player, the first, the single player content is more on the shorter side. So, mm, I don't know, right? It does kind of hinder my interest a little bit, but I do want to see like the animations on my TV screen. That's the main thing about it. Uh, are you, uh, considering sparking zero? No. Okay. Okay. I I'll mean, I'll watch, I'll watch other people play it. Um, mm -hmm. I'm happy for those that waited this long for another Budokai Tenkaichi, you know, game to yeah, for sure. resurface from the from the dead. Yeah, it's, it's been a long time for sure. Yeah. Yep, Arena Fighters are but, back. Um, mm -hmm. But from what I've been watching, yeah, I think because I guess the way my whole body is now i think i'm gonna get motion sickness mm, mm -hmm. so it's actually harder for you to watch those type of games yeah. nowadays okay interesting yeah. mm. I'm, I'm old <laughs> yeah i i can 
understand that. I mean, well, how 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 are you when it comes to playing like Apex Legends though? Because that's like okay. So with the Apex Legend, I guess it's because well, I turned off the fucking shaky cam. So yeah, that yeah, first, helped. Yeah, hell, that helped hell of a much. Um, mm -hmm. Let's say same thing. Same thing with uh like Fortnite. Like I took off the shaking cam. Sure. Um. I think I'm also developing. Um, it's what my friend has. Uh, they. It's like they, they cannot process fast enough when they see too much things happening at once. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I forgot what it's called, but mm -hmm. like in Fortnite, I turn off that stupid circle stuff that you will see on some players uh screen yes i think you yeah are. that's the that's the sound detecting thing the visual uh, yeah. audio detector thing wow yeah, I, I i took that off because that was um getting too much for me okay, okay i guess okay. for sparking zero it's like the animation looks lovely but i think like after a while seeing you know zip mm -hmm. zip and dashing like super fast it's like it's like oh, it's like that um the cell tournament. Remember, like Kirk was like asking, "What are you guys doing? What mm -hmm. are you guys doing?" Shh, we're watching the battle. Mm -hmm. So I'm Kirk right now, going, what "Yeah, the fuck, are you looking at?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. I I, I definitely understand that yeah. they're actually th these games are not actually for everyone on a more physical level, right? Um, same with FPSs. Um, I, I know, like, I know people who get sick from watching people playing, or, or you know, actually playing FPSs as well, like Call of Duty, for example. Like, uh, Call of Duty is like super fucking fast-paced, fucking um, checking with your head cut off, kind of movement almost, right? You know, uh, very arcadey. Um, which, speaking of which, I might actually hop back onto it after for so long like I've, i have not played call of duty in a long time but the catch is is that i will only play it through game pass if i am going to play it because that's um you know subscription based you can just play it play for like one month and then that's it right yeah. as long as you turn off the uh the auto what do you call repay or what do you call it yeah but yeah uh anyways congrats to um Dragon Ball Sparking fans, Zero. Sparking Zero, yep, the devs for Sparking Zero as well, for um, yeah, you know, um, for these numbers, man. And of course, Dragon Ball fans, importantly, are eating good, right? Very nice, very nice. Love to see it. Love to see it. Uh, all right. So up next, this one involves with the yes, the Nintendo Switch online playtest program. Which I didn't and sign up for. What is this? Good that, sir. What that, is this? That, uh, that is the question indeed, because I have no idea what this is all about. And pe that's what people are like, um, also sort of asking as well. <laughs> it may be just like something as like, oh, the voice chat or something, or, um, some sort of like chat room, or maybe they're trying to like make their own little Discord thing within nintendo don't don't nintendo already have something like that but it's not real um what was it it was that app that we're yeah the this stupid thing the um oh i think i know you're talking online, about the switch online shit maybe they're trying to expand it because it says um we will perform a test Blah, 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 related to a new feature for the Nintendo Switch online service offered for the Nintendo Switch system. Um, yeah. I guess. Yeah, it's not, it's, it's, it doesn't really say, like, what it is, you know, nothing. So, for the most part, anyone, anybody has no idea. Um, I wouldn't. I don't think I qualify anyway because uh, it, it's asking because it's for only for members of the Nintendo Switch Online and the expansion pack membership. So I believe that's like what forty uh, bucks a year or something. But yeah. Well, fuck you too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, 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 I've actually not have purchased um, 
Nintendo Switch Online for a very long time. At this point, because there's like nothing for me to play like, for on the Switch Online. Hmm. I mean, I, I still have it on um, auto. Oh, really? I, I I've had mine not uh pay for it. It's like yeah, yeah it's like twenty bucks, but still, like I could use that for something yeah. else. You can use it for one meal at McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> one meal. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Actually, well, I don't know. Did you speak of McDonald's? Did you know they have a Big Mac chicken? Yes. Uh, I, I've, I've been seeing it. I've been seeing on the, the social media stuff. Yeah. I tried it because I guess I had a, a deal instead of it being like its regular price. I got it for like ten dollars flat oh nice it's okay yeah it's, i heard yeah. it, it's it's different but because it has the big mac sauce with it it's like i rather have just big mac mm -hmm. yeah, yeah yeah i get it i get it apparently it's really popular in, in the in the uk that's why they try to bring it over here for like a test um that's why it even exists in the first place i guess and apparently the chick the, the patty for that is the exact same thing for, uh for a chicken McNugget, but obviously bigger. It's like the same like formula or recipe formula. No recipe. Excuse me. And um uh, yeah. But they obviously make it bigger. But I've already like done that kind of quote unquote. But not with chicken nuggets, but with like, you know, you know those you know their regular chicken sandwich i bought like two of those and i just like ate, ate them like double like that and it's like all right you know whatever i mean a little different but the concept is still the same yeah it's still the same the concept yeah and i've done it in the past uh in fact i i even took a little extra mile in the past um i bought myself a, a double hamburger and then the the chicken sandwich and i combined the two like um meats and put it into one sandwich and I ate it. It's like, all right, it's different. <laughs> it's different. I'm going to tell you something that might make your stomach fucking turn because it turned my stomach when my friend um, ordered it. Mm -hmm. he, it's called, he called it the Big Mac salad. I think I, I've heard of this, but go on. Yeah. So, you know, so how. Oh, it, it's prepared, you know, they get the, the salad plastic bowl, mm -hmm. you know, that, and then they'll pretty much like deconstruct the Big Mac. So mm -hmm. they'll put the patty like aligned, then smother the, the sauce, then put the, then put the, um, the lettuce and all the stuff on top of it. Yeah. And then depending if the person deconstructing it is nice. They'll either just slap slap the buns on it, or because um the person the worker that works at that that particular McDonald's that they always went to get you know that Big Mac salad, um just rip the uh the buns and then just sprinkle it you know like um fuck what is that oh like croutons every salad yeah like, like croutons oh ta da there, there's your Big Mac salad and I'm like. And I told him straight in his face, like, that looks like it's going to give me diarrhea. Yeah. <laughs> just just from how it looks. And he's like, yeah. he's like, here, try it. It's like, no, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to eat my 40 piece, <laughs> pieces of chicken McNuggets. <laughs> this is doo-doo, baby. <laughs> yep. And that was me. Because I was like, you're going to get diarrhea. You're going to get diarrhea. Me on my 15 <laughs> nugget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where are you going? Leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. McDonald's, man. McDonald's. McDonald's. It it was bad for you in the '90s. It's bad for you. It's even more bad for you now. Yeah. But at least it was cool to eat fast food back in the day. Now it's like you're you you're eating it because you're kind of miserable 
<laughs> well, see, it was cool to eat it back in the 90s mm -hmm. because you had Wendy's, Burger King, and McDonald's. Yeah. And you know, Taco Bell, but yeah. those three big ones because they had the toys. The toys, yeah. If you if you wanted the kitty toys, you go to McDonald's. Mm -hmm. If you wanted like the you know, teenage grown up and the awesome cups, you go to BK. Yeah, true. True. And then if you want toddler toys, you go to Wendy's. But mm. cheaper food. Yeah. Cheaper food. Right. Uh, but those days are kind of uh kind of gone. I mean, the toys are still around. I see them. But yeah. yeah. The um the incentive is very much on the down low because yeah, it's mad expensive. It's like not even worth it anymore. The novelty of going to McDonald's is just like or places like McDonald's, excuse me, is like it's really not there, honestly. It's not the same. Really isn't. Especially when they like when they like took out a lot of the menus, all uh, stuff from the menu, like over time, and then like they took got rid of the dollar menu and like all that shit. Like, yeah. oh man. Uh well, let me look at the app because it still fucking cracks me up. Yeah. Um, yeah well, it shouldn't fucking take that long. Order. Huh. It still has a one. Uh, I know you can't see a one dollar, two dollar, three dollar menu. <laughs> the one, two, three menu. Yeah. 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 Ah, make chicken. Almost four bucks. Make double four bucks. French fries, the the, the the small one, three bucks. Four piece chicken McNuggets, three fifty. Damn man, what the fuck is this one two three dollar menu? This is four five six. <laughs> yeah, like, dude, the, those the regular small hamburgers now they're like two fifty or something. Like it's ridiculous. They used to be like nine, like 70, 79 cents at least. Like, what the fuck? Or 50 cents even. It's just bonkers, man. I mean, you, I mean, you're still better off eating the uh, the quarter, double quarter pounder, but still, that, that's, yeah. It's fast food. Like, fast food is just, there's, there's like little, little reason to... Other than the, other than the convenience, right? Like quote unquote. Yeah, other than con the convenience, but it also depends on where you're getting your fast food from because yeah, you would think, oh, I'm only going to order fries one hour later. Yeah, <laughs> my fries. Yeah, <laughs> they like forgot your fries or something. They ate your fries too. <laughs> yeah. But on that note, of me making fun of uh, going to the bathroom and shit. Yeah. I jinx my ass. <laughs> <laughs> um, so take a pause. Mm -hmm. Good. This is doo doo, baby. Steve. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, that's funny. All right, my diet today was fucking weird. Oh, okay. Lunch, lunch was. Chili burrito, and there was like two jalapenos with it, like Ooh. a decent size. Nice. Then when I came home, my grandma couldn't finish her food, so she so I ate the rest of her Korean barbecue chick um, barbecue, which was michun and stuff. Damn man! And shit. then before before we we started, you know, you saw me chowing down the nut butter. But, um, I, I really don't like this fucking brand of ginger ale. I'd rather have Can um, Canada Dry. Uh -huh. That's the only one we have. So I think all of that combination, my my body was like, yeah, I don't blame your body for it. <laughs> that my sounds like a like, quite you, a... Wanna, you you want to die today? Mm -hmm. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So oh, yeah, so, <laughs> crisis averted. That's all. Crisis that's averted. All, okay. Okay. Good. Good. Or it could also have been my friend fucking from from the other state 
I'm just going like I I I heard you talking shit about my uh, Big Mac salad. Yeah, just casting his Big Mac salad powers, man. <laughs> the spell. <laughs> Fucking cursing me. Yep. You curse my salad, I'll curse I curse your stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! All right. Well, speaking of curses, right? We're gonna talk about some uh, some gacha games. All right. Um. Oh yeah, there's a new banner in now. Oh my what god! You? Uh, <laughs> what could you say? I don't know if I play that sound effect, but I'll play it again. Anyway, so Honkai Star Road news. Uh, there was a big drop on the drip drip marketing, uh, featuring. The long awaited Sunday. So Sunday is um first off the big brother for um oh there's no picture here. But uh <laughs> he's he's uh Robin's big brother and uh, and Robin is like a famous singer in in the galaxy or whatever. Very, very famous person. Uh he is um also the leader of the Oak family and uh which is basically like um like you know like, like mm, i guess it, it would be equivalent of like those mafias or whatever but not so much ish but they kind of operate oh, like, you're you about to about to see the celestial dragons i'll be like mm, but, mm, well he, ki he now <laughs> he kind of operates like a celestial dragon ish but a little bit just, but i don't know if he's like rich or not but he but he's got some abilities or whatever so anyway um follows a path of harmony right and but anyway um so he's his, uh his family is like the head family and then there's a bunch of other families right so that's why they kind of operate like a mafia right like yakuza and whatever right italian mafia anyway so that's like the basic gist of that and then lastly he was like the final boss for um uh one, one uh in um the latest recent chapter in Pinaconi, um, which is the latest, what was the latest uh, region for Star Rail. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, so he, he uh, kind of disappeared for a little bit after you defeat him. He, he, it, he is currently held captive by somebody, I will say, um, by another organization for questioning. Um, he's, but, he's captured by um, Daddy Capitillo. <laughs> yeah yeah no um quite the opposite actually uh, no it's like mo like big, big old big time mommy like people are horny on main for her for her uh anyway so i mean i mean it, it's it's a fucking gacha game of course right anyway um he previously uh was just an npc uh oh oops not rob <laughs> yeah excuse yeah. me yeah no, that's the right. That's the right Robin, yeah. So this is Robin, just for, just kind of to set the uh, pictures, or set the record, record straight, right? Okay, so one, one thing wrong with this picture, you're saying that this woman's name is Robin, yeah, she's th throwing a fucking blue jay at us. <laughs> <laughs> fucking missed opportunity there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so this is Sunday um double sunday uh, yeah, yeah double sunday yeah no um kind of kind of double sunday because he um had a different outfit before as an npc let me see the media it was much more slutty i mean <laughs> uh, provocative <laughs> yeah so this is this was this was his outfit before and then now you have um this which is a slight variation he has, he has like a scarf or whatever thing on, but the the yellow, right? The the under yellow stuff is not there until now. I think the boots, yeah, he's wearing like boots, shin guards now. But but does the boots have the fur? Nope. <laughs> some gold lining, that's it. Some gold buttons, bra maybe brass, I don't know. But yeah, obviously pretty different. Okay. And uh, who who the hell knows what he'll do um, once uh, he's freed or whatever, right? 
once his banner comes around, I wonder what his part is in the latest story, quote unquote. Um, he won't be around. Well, even though yes, he was he's revealed now. I don't think he'll be around uh, until maybe like part two of whatever new what the new chapter is for Pinaconi because we're going to go back to Pinaconi again because right now we're in Leeway or not Leeway I'm sorry <laughs> um, Leeway is in Genshin sorry uh, Luofu Luofu is basically the uh, the Chinese equivalent in Star Rail. Luofu is where we're at right now again because we're going back and forth with Luofu and then new region or new planet and then we go back to Luofu because I guess Hoyo loves their Chinese culture or something I don't know anyway uh any any just thoughts on his design alone just looking at him like he's very angelic but I yes yeah. uh, from what you're what you just told me is like he does not sound angelic. He no. believe he's angelic. Yeah, yeah. But he's he a, not. Mm -hmm. Um, he 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 seems to be operating in his uh, in his own terms, and then Robin is kind of like, um, like she 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 loves his brother, obviously, but you know doesn't ag completely agree to his terms, sort of thing. Um, but at the moment he's he does he has vanished so um robin is looking for him at the moment so obviously robin is a good guy and then he's essentially a villain slash maybe at best anti-hero at best but yeah uh he was he but he, he had to fight him because he had a he's he is he becomes like a final boss he took on a different form you know he, he's like a big old big old like um golden figure thing that you would kind of find in um persona 5 admittedly it's kind of funny but yeah anyway um let me see yeah th yeah this is npc form yeah harmonious cool choir that's his yeah this is his boss form oh it's not loading up at the moment but anyway hmm. you can kind of see it here big old gold figure thing um, he's all about, you know, the music, you know, that sort of thing. There's a bit, there's a big theme around music, including Robin, because she's a singer. Uh, Robin can use her voice to support your units, and she is one of the more powerful supports in the game, if not, uh, one of the top supporters in the game at the moment. She supports, uh, more of the follow-up units, right? People who have follow-up attacks. That's what she, that's what she supports more um you know they're trying to p push the the, the follow-up meta at the moment and i think they're going to continue doing that until at some point because at some point another another in another time uh the dot the dot units were uh kind of up there and then they're like kind of shifting or shifting around the meta because yeah you know how, how else are you gonna going to sell your your units right gotcha anyway so that's Sunday for right now. Five star uh, imaginary element, and he is a harmony, I believe, a unit, which means he will he will be a support, just like his younger sister. Uh, how will he support is the big question here, right? We'll we'll find out maybe through the uh, words on the street or somewhere else. Up next, this was a big one. This is a huge, huge drop because this character, quote unquote, uh, previously died. Uh, what you see in the uh, the little reflection right there in the the water, that was her. Uh, that was what we saw previously before she, quote unquote, died. But the catch was is that uh, first off, that's Ting Young, right? Um, and what we truly see, I guess, for right now, it's uh, Fugue. That's I, I guess that's the name she's going by for right now. But up there in the uh, the water reflection, that's Tin Young. Tin Young is a four star unit, very very good su a four star support unit. She like ups your crit damage and all that stuff, and gives you energy. Um, so that's why she was really good uh, early on, and still still good. Um, if you want to use her and stuff, make her work. But yes, uh, she died because um, what basically happened was there was another villain who took on her form. So basically, she performed identity theft on. Uh, fugue over here 
and um left her unconscious somewhere in space i don't know uh, we don't know what happened fully but she knocked her ass out took her identity and then took um took on uh the Tinyo the Tin Young identity and resided in Luofu to you know um hatch a diabolical plan and then once that diabolical plan started to take place um she pretty much dropped that form right by snapping her neck in that very infamous scene um very rather and not 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 gory but it's, it's kind of graphic for for a hoyo game which i can show you right here um right here <sighs> what a shame i'll just play in english fuck it it would have been nice to observe for a little longer <laughs> You received the gift of abundance. Surely you can withstand the blessing of destruction. <laughs> Benefactors, allow me to reintroduce myself. Yeah, so uh that yeah, this is like the spirit of the <laughs> the villain. Uh, I forget her name fully. It was like Fantilia or something. She's like uh, the emanator of destruction. Basically, one of the uh, the elite soldiers, I guess you could call them, of the destruction path. And then you have the god of destruction, like all the way up. And they're they're very very powerful, right? Obviously. But yeah, you know they're kind of like the elite whatever right you have you, you know it's kind of like the the pokemon champion and you have the late four kind of mm. that's kind of what it is with uh emanators um yeah and then so yeah this yeah this particular part of uh, scene was like a meme for a while of tin young getting her neck snapped um within the hoyo stuff Oh, yeah, I'll, a lot of people were like, "What the fuck? Like, what happened to Young? Oh no!" And then, yeah, uh, and then, uh, post, uh, I guess, scene for that chapter was like, "Oh, her body disappeared. Like, it just like vanished, like scattered, whatever." Right? So, it, so it it was already implying that you know the real Tin Young, quote unquote, was already like out there, and I I figured that, but um, I figured also that. They're going to sell, you know, this Tin Young, this version of Tin Young as a five star unit. Like I, 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 I could have guaranteed that right, right then and there when that's when this scene happened. And guess what? This is her now, five star, uh, fire nihility unit, which is something I did not imagine, ironically. But <laughs> <laughs> um, so she is going to, I guess, be a dot unit, fire base. But I guess she's going to also. I'm, I'm, I'm just guessing she's going to be a, a very good uh, dot support unit for other dot units. So she'll probably like bring up the other dot units again. And of course, uh, Acheron, because Acheron is just stupid powerful. And she runs off of dots. Yeah. And then, because you, you're saying like her body disappeared. So I wonder if, did they do the extra mile and like, Let's say you had her in your your team inventory, whatever. Mm -hmm. You couldn't select her again. No, they didn't go that far. But uh, I, some things in her bio changed. I think that's what happened at most. Um, but yeah, thing things weren't the same again. <laughs> I, I I think I can say that. So yeah, this is the real Tin Young, and then you can actually hear her voice in the very last recent chapter. Uh. So it's kind of like, yeah, that little teaser of, oh, five star Ting Young or whatever. But yeah, now she's called Fugue. Fugue, I guess, uh, I mean, I learned this word, you know, recently that uh, not only, well, not only is a musical term, but it's a psych psych uh, psychological term for just somebody who like lost memories and such. Um, 
and now it's in a different body or something. Mm. Let me go ahead and double check that though. Oops, not Fugu. <laughs> Fugu is a very different, yeah. very, very I want different. To eat Fugu. I actually never tried Fugu. I do want to try myself. Um, yeah, it says a state of period, a state or period of loss of awareness of one's uh, one's identity, often coupled with uh, uh, flight from one's usual environment, associated with certain certain forms of hysteria and epilepsy. So yeah. So something to do with identity crisis kind of thing. Um, any thoughts on the design in particular for the real Tinyon quote unquote? So obviously she well uh, okay first off before I get the uh, the culture wrong. What is the central culture if there is any culture for Hong Kong Star Rail? Um. So it's actually. Uh, it's like multi multicultural. So uh, multicultural. Yeah. So there is like a like a more European steam planet. There's a Chinese steam planet, and now you have like a more like a uh retro punk movie theater ish type of um planet. It's called that's Pentaconi, and then hmm. there's like been other hints of other planets like uh, throughout the story. So it could it could be anything. It could be anything. Because um obviously um the creators took inspiration of the Nine Tail Nine Tail Fox mm -hmm. spirit. Yes. So I love the dress. Very flowy. Mm -hmm. Kind of reminds me of um not to, not Tamamo from Fate Go, but the other fox, um, the other fox uh, unit right now. I have both of them. Oh, hmm. Cor yeah, I'm gonna fucking say this name. I'm gonna type it out to you so okay. you can look it up. <laughs> okay. Uh, of dark. Koyanskaya? Yeah. yeah. Of darkness. Oh, okay. I think I know you're talking uh, about. Oh, no, fucking. Her other name is Vich. V I T C H. <laughs> ah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. I get it. And then when you uh, ascend her, obviously. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think it's better to look at her sprite. The sprites. There you go. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Definitely uh definitely can get an idea of where you're where you're going yeah. with that. Alright. Is she a buster card? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Buster, yeah. Oh my god, if they introduce those mechanics in Star Wars, I'll be like, oh man. You'd be like, oh god, I I ran away from you. Mm hmm I know. Only two for you to come back to me. <laughs> you know, um, anything else? I wonder, because it, it's a reflection of like her, did her, mm -hmm. did self, what? Yeah, whatever, yeah. I wonder if later down the line, she will have like a updated. You know, like, because they always do this with games like that. They update the animation. Mm, yeah, right. That's interesting. Will she have, like, a, a skill use that, you know, you activate it and you'll see, like, her, I'm going to call it the dark half, like, behind her. May? To give her, like, a self, self buff. Mm, yeah, maybe, maybe it's a little bit of a stretch, but, uh, yeah, yeah I mean, there, there, there is going to be something, right? Like some sort of like dialogue change or um, something like that. But I don't think uh, yeah. an animation change. I, that's, I mean, hey, I mean, I'm, I'm all for it. But yeah, um, I think that's a bit of a stretch. Wishful thinking kind of thing. 
but that would be, that would be in pretty interesting. And yes, by the way, I forgot to mention it. She's a Foxian, Fox girl, uh, which tends, I, I guess, I guess apparently, um, in Luofu, cause like Luofu is like a planet full of, um, uh, abundance and when abundance is supposed to be like that path of healing, right? Uh, that's like the healer class and the, the concept of abundance is like, yeah, you live, you live longer, but you become, uh, like a monster over time. Right. Uh, so you, if you're, you can it, become a Thyron. Kind of, like, yeah, somewhere along those lines. Yeah. It's like, you, you know, you, you become not like human anymore, or, you know, not yourself kind of thing as a consequence. Um, especially if you like just fully give in to the path of abundance. And, uh, what's happening right now is that, um, the path of a hunt of the hunt is, um, trying to combat that, like trying to balance that out. If, uh, if that makes sense, because there's too much abundance, meaning, uh, it's like taking over the planet and, um, you know, all that doohickey and, stuff. Um, well, at the end of this, uh, podcast, I'll get a ticket. I'll see you in like what, 50 years. <laughs> we'll see what, what abundance I'm going to turn into. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, but, uh, apparently Foxians for some reason have a shorter lifespan. I don't know why that, that, uh, I, I'm not sure why that's like the thing, but whatever. Um, there's also like different tribe or different, like little, like race races like there's like dragon people there's foxians and of course there's humans <laughs> <laughs> yeah and i do have one one of those units um let me see do i have that page up still no i don't um there you go This guy, this guy was the most powerful unit when he came out, but he got, uh, kind of power. Shafted. Yeah. Kind of got shafted power crap because yeah, he does the damage, but his cost is a little high because he pretty much sucks up a lot of skill points from your team just to do his, uh, his damage. That's the, mm -hmm. that's the sort of gimmick he has because your, your combat is solely based off or well actually sorry um your special skills run off of skill points and also uh i guess certain other things but mostly your skill your special skills they burn um skill points including healing but this guy uh sucks up a lot of that but yes in turn he does a lot of damage but now there's already other units that do a similar amount of damage, if not more, without the the skill point suckage. <laughs> so yeah, so um, the he he uh you know kind of a spoiler, but yes, he is one of the main characters. He was like, you you know you thought he was some dude, but no, he's like a reincarnation of another dragon guy, and he was like really significant, but he was outed as like a criminal in his tribe, or he was like a outcast and he was exiled and um and then he um disguised himself as the main character that we know who is uh don hung don uh um he is like one of the members of the star rail express or whatever uh and a trailblazer i guess you can say that's like the thing that's like the title that you have the main character uh you're like exploring throughout the galaxy and you help out people right that's what he's he and other people are supposed to do along with you but yeah he had he had this form hidden so basically he's supposed to be like really powerful all that stuff so that's a, kind of like his uh, five star form and then his four star form is just done hung anywho um yes so either way this is a five star version of Tin Young, 
a lot of people want um were along waited her and look at that like hundred thousand likes almost thirty thousand retweets or yeah whatever um oh i forgot to do this surprisingly um sunday got more he well yes he did come out um uh, before but surprisingly like he he's still uh beating uh fugue let me see she came out on the 10th I mean, okay, so three days more, but still. You would think that, you know, because she's like waifu material, fox girl, and uh, she's affiliated with like Tin Young, who is like also very popular within Star Rail. <laughs> you would think that she would explode with all this, like, uh, with more likes and such than Sunday. But yeah, I mean, I guess Sunday is that popular, but shit, man. Male characters, man. Who would have thought? Uh, any other thoughts before we, uh, wrap up the Star Rail drip marketing? So, is your, uh, wallet crying yet? Yes. Yes. <laughs> because, um, if you remember, we did talk about... Rappa. Who was this chick? We talked about her, um... Kind of a while back. Yeah. And she's supposed to be really good coming up, too. She's she's like an AoE unit. And supposedly she's going to hit very hard. And in Star Rail, AoE is king uh, at the moment. So that's like part of the meta as well. They've been trying to push Hunt, which is supposed to be um the single targeting hitting units. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I don't think it's still enough. I think AoE is still king. But yeah. So th these two won't show up for a little while. But they'll, they'll be around um, nonetheless. I just hope to God that Sunday is first and then she comes in after. Because... Uh, it would make sense from a story's perspective because once we go back to, uh, well, once Rappa comes out, we go back to Pinnacone. And then, of course, Sunday is very much affiliated with Pinnacone. So hopefully from a story's perspective, yeah, he comes out first. But yeah, that way I, I, I can save it for uh, Fugue. So I do want her. And maybe a, another copy of her <laughs> for, for you know, the, the, what do you call him? Jesus Christ, this man won't be dumping money here. And then there's whenever busy, yeah. yeah, yeah, fucking lighter. Miyabi. And then the other, the other chick, Miyabi. And then, oh, yeah, the, the, uh, Yanagi. Yep. Yeah. It, my, my wallet is crying, bro, brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Time, time to uh, make that OF um, foot foot link so you can get some oh. extra cash. <laughs> oh my god, man. Man. Alright. I think we can put that aside. Yeah. Meanwhile, more characters from uh, Hoyo. This is uh, Genshin. Uh, I don't know about these characters too much because they're, they're like brand new, brand new. So, I don't have much to say. But there's Chaska. Right, animal unit or wind unit, and there is also Auroron, who is an electric electro unit. Um, what do you think of her design? Just from just I don't know, first impressions, I guess. Damn girl, show my leg. Mm -hmm. Her. Funny because her artwork is fine, but I think people have been um, kind of berating on her in-game model, um, like her face. Oh, it's not matching up. It's not matching up to yeah, like it's it's not horrible-ish, but definitely not like I, I like if you especially if you look in the game too, like in-game. Yeah, you'll start to see some like those. Uh, sort of blemishes if you will start to show up 
Uh, you can kind of see in the comments. Let me see. <laughs> Artists knew which side to show. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Because yeah. Well. Yeah. Because they're one pant legging so just show off her leg um let me see to be honest still, uh, yeah, this is one one from one person to be honest still have no idea why people think she's ugly like yeah the pants are questionable but everything else is gorgeous um So that does kind of point out the uh, sort of, not meme, but, you know, the kind of a trend going on of her looks. Like, some people say, like, her design is kind of a mess. Um, <laughs> yeah, the card. Um, let's see. Yeah, brother in Christ, how terrible is her design? Color, color palette, great. Idea, cool, but once, one sleeve, one pant situation, awful. Okay, that's... Hmm. I didn't think I'd see that comment. Mm. <laughs> I guess this, that point's like, sure. This character feels like someone skipped character design classes. Mm. Um... Yeah, that was, that was somebody who tried to, like, quote-unquote, fix the character. With either, like, yeah, like, here's the actual pants, the shorts, and then, yeah, and that's the original design on the very left. I mean, this is kind of her in-game model-ish for the most part. I mean, any impressions or, uh, from here? Like... Do you have any... Issue? The hat now, looking at it, is a little bit too much. That hat's too much? Okay. Kind of fair. And then that, that extra limb hanging off on the side. Gotta go. Okay, okay. No, no, no. To that, that, that bluish oh, white. Oh, that's, that's, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, that's... no, that, that thing has to go. It's ruining the entire composition. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think I believe that's Mulani. That's another five star unit. Um, kind of uh, pretty popular, up, kind of up there. Mm, yeah, I mean, personally, for me, I think it's the just the in game model face. I think they need to tweak it a little bit. Um, yeah, yeah, see, see, I think the lower we go, the more of those comments show up, like uh, Lamal, the ugliest. Uh, ho uh, Hoyo, this design, fix it. Um, yeah. The crowd goes mild. <laughs> yeah. Some say that she's like a, re or a recycled design from this character. Um, Chlorine. Sorry, some do with uh, chloride or something, because it is supposed to be like that's the type of spelling. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit. Shit. There you go. There you go. Yeah. This is supposed to. They're like comparing her to her, right here. Who is who is a, a previous character from uh, Fontaine, champion duelist. Yeah. So she kind of has like the the, the musket theory tear thing going on a little bit with the hat um have to admit the design looks colorful in a bad way but she looks cool so, so it's like it's like very mixed like it's people have problems with their colors and then some people have like problems with their face and then some pe people have uh problems with their uh what do you call asymmetric asymmetricalness so it is kind of all over the place, I guess you could say. Barbie eyes? I don't know about that. It is so hard to look at her design. I don't want I don't want uh 
Oh. I guess he's trying to say, I don't know what happened to Hoyo. But it just says, I don't what happened to Hoyo. <laughs> um, but there are people who like her. Yeah, I can't wait to pull her for her. She looks pretty cool. Now that is one of the worst designs ever. She can join Chevy and Dory in the basement. Jeez. This best design, best design. Whoa, my eyes just threw up. If it's, uh, I don't know if it's the colors or the design, but this uh, does not look like a, a Genshin character. So yeah, you can kind of, you can definitely get 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 the gist of like how mixed people feel about Chaska. I'm overall like indifferent. I think her in game. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I'm with you, indifferent, because the. I've seen some characters like that that has, you know, one covered leg and then one exposing the leg. You know, it's just do sex appeal and yeah. you know, stuff. Like, I've seen it in other games and, and stuff. So it's like cute. Mm hmm. Cool. But again, like I think the hat is too much. Hat is too much, okay. Because she already has her hair blocking her half of her face. Yeah, yeah. Now you need, now like you need a extra, hat. An extra layer, a layer to mm -hmm. you know. Okay. To show that, yeah, I'm blocking my face. It's like you already have your hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, and, and unless it, mm -hmm. if they could have made the hat a little bit smaller. Yeah. Maybe it'll maybe slim it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then maybe it would have been okay. Yeah. Because because again, like as you brought up the other characters, like yeah, it looks like a not like a redesign, but kind of like a small like copy paste. Like yeah, what worked for this woman? Can it work on this one? Mm hmm. And yeah, and people loved the design. They loved her legs, most, and then obviously her other assets, right? But yeah, um, especially her tights or her leggings and stuff like that. But when it comes to this character, it, it was a very mixed reaction. It wasn't like a universal praise or anything like that. But for me, I think my personal issue with, is that her in-game model could use some more tweaking. I think that one looks a little rushed. Uh, let me see if I can find a good picture of her in-game model. Uh, I mean, kind of. Like, it's just, this is just a very front-facing shot of her in-game model. Then again, like, because the, the hat is trying to emphasize, like, Hey, I'm blocking this this side. Yeah, I'm I'm supposed to be mysterious and cool or something. Yeah, but you don't need it. Yeah, I, and it's not like she has like a hidden eye or anything like that or whatever or a scar over her eye or anything like that. You, you you can see her her eyes in the game, so it's a little pointless other than just looks. And yeah. Like I, I, you know, I know that they, they made the hat crooked on purpose so you can just see her face like when she's front facing, you know, for the sake of, you know, presentation or whatever. But yeah, um, I think the hat could use a little more work. But I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe this design could have used a little more time. And maybe, uh, reconsider some some points or something. But even that at Chibi art art print check out that one, one more the sticker. Yeah. Looks too much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It is pretty busy. This, this design is pretty busy. I will say, yeah, the, I will say the artwork looks better. It, it does help a little bit for Chaska, but her in-game model kind of, kind of somewhat ruins it a little bit. But like I said, it just needs more tweaking. 
and from the stuff I was able to see, um, from the, um, you know, the leaks and everything, um, she looks fun, but I would rather save my gems for, um, the Pyro Archon, which is Mavuika. Rather do that for her. But yeah, you know, these are the voice actresses, or, or this is the voice actress for, um, Chaska. You can kind of briefly see here. Including Yomo from uh, Ikitosen. And Wa uh, Wolbach from Konosuba. And I guess she was uh, Claire. F she is Claire from Resident Evil 2. Whether it's the remake or um, entirely. Uh, Sae from Persona 5. One of my favorites. And yeah, that's about it. Now, would you say that Sae had like one of the best palaces? Okay. <laughs> there okay. we go. Hey, I'm not speaking for the palace, but I'm just speaking for her looks. Her, her actual yeah, look. for her looks. Yeah. But since you brought up Persona 5, because we both played it. Yes, we have. Would you say that Sae uh, was one of the... Let, let, let's be nice. One of the top five best palaces to go through. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Because the one I truly did not care for, and I was rolling my eyes, was... Um... Yusuke? No, Yusuke I was fine with. Okay. It was... Um... Uh, Haru? Oh, Haru. The, yeah. Was it Haru? The, the pink one? Yeah, the, the, the pink sweater. Chick with the fluffy hair. Yeah, the, the one that her dad was a CEO, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah, Haru. I did not care for her. Mm. For, for her palace. Okay. I have to look back on that one. It's been a while. Because it, it was a UFO... Like, like a UF, oh, like it was, it was like space, like space thing. Mm hmm. Futa uh, Futaba was, uh, like a Egypt, was the Egyptian, Egyptian yeah. stuff. Futaba was the Egyptian, so. mm hmm. I think that uh, one I was okay so. with. Um, uh, well, I, hmm. for me, Sae one was was fun because it was the uh, casino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other one I did not care for because it weirded me out. Which it was supposed to was um your first one. Oh yeah, yeah. Kamoshida's. Yeah. Kamoshida. And also knowing what he was doing, it was like mm -hmm. you know what. I don't want to save you. I want mm. you to die. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah, he, he was kind of a creep. <laughs> to say the least. Also, Drew, uh, drove, uh, what was it, Anna's, like, friend to, like, pretty much almost commit suicide or something. Like, yeah. oh, my God. Yeah, she, didn't she jump? Yeah, she jumped. Right? She jumped, but she survived, so she had to, like, be in the hospital for, like, yeah, long she, ass time. She was, like... Like she was in a coma or something. Yeah, she was in a like coma. Up, like, like... Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And then, <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, yeah. She's the handler for uh Spy Family, and then the uh, Yomi Kawa from the uh the Index series. I should say Toadu. I was supposed so... to say that's not the handler from Monster Hunter. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't look annoying. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, oh. <laughs> Uh, she was Isabella from um, The Promised Neverland. Do not watch that depo if you're not ready to uh, go on an emotional roller coaster. Yeah. All right. I mean, I could say the same thing for like some people saying that, oh, your lie in April is not that sad. It's like, eh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what do you think of this design? First impressions. 
Oh, I didn't know he had uh, animal ears. Oh, wow. I wanted to get past their uh, their phase. <laughs> Not a phase, mom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, looking like a punk rock or emo ish kind of design. He even has the uh, the heterochromia thing going on. But are you? I mean, are you into the design, or if you're? you're... I mean, I like the shade of blue. Yeah, the blue and is I nice. I do like the. I guess his orb power is also. You can also make it look like it's a crest mm -hmm. that's on top of his shoulder. So it's a, that's a nice little touch. Yeah. But, but and also I guess hard tail because most of his um outfit has circles or orbs. So yeah, yeah. He's, he's gonna do orb attacks, or AOEs maybe. Maybe it's like eyes or something. Yeah. Yeah. Because he even has that design on his scarf. So there's something going on with like the eyes or the orb type of stuff. The eyes have it. Yeah. He got boots, ripped jeans, looks like. See, his design is more straightforward. Whereas. She got a lot going on with the, the top. Like, there's a lot of little intricate designs. Maybe that's all part of it, too. It's just a lot going on. Right. He's like, yeah, you can look at him and be like, okay, you know, you can kind of get an, a good idea. It's like, yeah, there's still a good amount of colors, but it's, it's more, it looks more tasteful, I'd yeah. say. But the new thing is that I did not know he had some sort of some form of animal ears. And then the other one's just hidden in the uh the hood. Oyo loves a asymmetrical designs for some reason. But anyway. And they also like anorexic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the yeah, the guys aren't especially the in-game models, they're all like similar because they use the same rig. So they all have like the same little tw twiggy arms, <sighs> and sadly, including a, a certain character named Ar Arataki Ito, because he's like supposed to be like the big Oni, um, human-looking guy, but he's the yeah, he looks really small in the uh, in-game model in comparison to what your impression is of of Ito. But yeah, so they just went ahead and make him, made him like a little more on the slim side. In this case, but you know, he's like obviously edgy, obviously you know, emo-ish, punkish, whatever. He's got like bat wings too, so that's uh, kind of interesting. It's kind of like a kind of like a little like a, like a bat wing sort of motif going on. Even like his bottom half of his uh jacket or whatever thing uh gives off like bat wing kinda designs. Almost as if he's supposed to yeah. Almost as if he's supposed to have six wings. But I think those wings are just for show, maybe? I don't know. Or maybe they're supposed to represent the fact that, yes, he has some sort of flying capability. Because um, a lot of these characters, f for exclusively for Natlin, will have some sort of mobility ab uh, uh, skill or thing. Um, the most recent one is uh, Zelanin, which I believe is right here. And her form of mobility is uh, roller skates. She she can skate through the landscape, and then she can even roller skate up any obstacles. And she even turns into like a uh, like a jaguar sl uh, slash. Um, I forget what it was called. Like the it was like a kind of big cat. Um, it's a puma. Not not a puma. It's another another one. Uh, it's like uh, es escaping me. 
But anyway, big cat, whatever, you know. So her mobility stuff is cool, but um, for the most part, I'll, I'll, I will be mostly skipping her. But apparently she's supposed to be like pretty, pretty good for both support and uh, DPS. So that's pretty interesting. But these two, I don't know. Um, but for right now, both of them are hard skip for me. Uh, I'd rather save up for the Archon. <clears throat> Alright, so that's pretty much mainly it for the Hoyo stuff. Uh, how long, uh, how long we've been going on? Let me see. Okay. Let's get a, uh, get a move on and, um, <laughs> go ahead and go. Yeah, let's go right into, um, well, let's just briefly talk about this. So th there was a, a collab unexpected. Oh yeah. That one between a uh, lo-fi girl and, uh, alien of all things. So I, uh, like, yeah, it doesn't even have, like, the, the alien just, like, sitting there with that, you know, for the background or whatever. And that, for yeah. some reason, there's a cat. Like, huh? Well, it's supposed to be uh, mimicking, um... Oh, that's right, well, the yes. setup, the, the setup is supposed to be mimic, um, Lo-Fi Girl, and the, yeah. uh, the yeah. cat's supposed to be, um, the same one from Aliens. The uh, one that Ripley rescued with, um, with Newt. Mm hmm Yeah. So it's supposed to be like that. So. Yeah. Also, oh, it's yeah. kind of funny that Lo-Fi Lo Girl is like, when you listen to, you know, their music, it's like supposed to be like nice, ambient. Yeah. Like, a cute background noise. This, this is making me feel fucking like, yeah, you want to like keep turning your back. Yeah, <laughs> I like the um the alien just like or xenomorph, excuse me, is like turning to uh. I wonder what that ship is. I wonder which one it is. It's like, oh, what was it called? Waitani, whatever you call it. Oh, or it could be um, Nostamo, Ripley ship. Yeah, maybe I don't know. Yeah, I f I forget the lore and alien. I f like I forget like which ship is what and all that, whatever. Hmm. The perfect soundtrack to drift off is hypersleep. <laughs> that was a comment from uh, Xbox. Xbox. Yep. yep, Xbox. Um. Meanwhile, alien fans are continuing Xbox. to eat good because. Alien Isolation is getting a sequel of sorts. And it's yeah. an early development. It is a statement from... Which, yeah. I don't know. Like, to me, it didn't need a sequel. Mm. Because it, it, it's like... It's supposed to take place between, I believe, Alien... I think it was Alien. So Alien 2 and, and before Alien 3. Mm -hmm. I, but it's been so long since I yeah watched that gameplay. Yeah, yeah. But if they are gonna make a sequel, make the the AI or the um Xenomorph more scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I think this is more of a technological update than a story update, or you know what I mean? Because um, I'm sure like the technology is uh has updated well enough for to justify some sort of sequel for for alien isolation because people i think people did praise the alien to be pretty sophisticated with ai for in the, in terms of like you know trying to scare you and stuff so if that's the case you can even further improve upon it right and it's in early development so then they'll definitely like be able to you know bounce off of that mm -hmm. and hopefully we can get even a more ultimate experience uh for alien fans especially the horror aspect of things 
unlike you know something like colonial marines right that was supposed to be like the actiony type of like aliens game but that failed miserably because of like the glitches the overall gameplay and such like that and like behind the scenes mm -hmm. behind the scenes uh randy pitchford was behind the project so that was there's that um yeah a lot of things were going on unfortunately yeah because i remember seeing the the very first e3 footage of it and it was like real like really cool but it was um one of those like your expectations versus reality type of memes and yeah it was bad it was pretty bad but uh, isolation kind of like turning turn turn things around quite a bit and hopefully the sequel will do that even more to appropriately uh, celebrate um you know whatever anniversary will come up on because right now it's been 10 years i guess that since isolation so yeah we'll see how uh how long that this will take time can only tell okay let's head on over to uh visual entertainment and other stuff news um You know, since it's October, because, you know, why not? Okay, so... Good news, depending on who you are. Especially from the uh, HBO Max side of things. Or just Max, which is stupid. Anyway. Velma. Remember that Vel that Velma series? Uh, with a lot of the sort of... Diversity slash DEI slash... Woke, whatever bullshit. Sort of type of... Mm -hmm. um, changes. Has been cancelled after two seasons. Justice. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it took a lot of liberties to like really change things around to like essentially miss a lot of uh, check marks for Scooby Doo stuff. It just wasn't even Scooby Doo anymore. It was just like a a political piece that they want to write from, um, you know the the girl the 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 actress from uh, the Office. You know that I think, I think she's like Indian or something, but yeah. Um, she and along with other people, uh, you know, hel uh, took the helm on this project and um, made a lot of changes, which it might as well have been a just like a original series that's not Scooby Doo. But of course, either way, no one would have watched it because. Yeah. No one liked it for the most part. Um it was u universally panned, especially by, you know, Scooby Doo fans. And yeah, yeah lo and behold, what do you know? It gets cancelled. So yeah. Have you ever watched anything or any of it at all or no? Nope. No, nope. okay. Just I, the memes and the memes, yeah. I guess like the shot of um Scrappy Doo killing Velma Velma. So, mm -hmm. to which everyone thought, uh, kind of making the connection that WB is going like, oh yeah, everyone hates Scrappy, so let's fucking make Scrappy a you know a murderer and start killing people, and then his latest victim is Velma. And it's like, so we really like get people on our side. It's like, no, <laughs> you actually made yeah. Scrappy that unsung hero that we mm -hmm. needed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I wonder, like, I wonder what the context of it of that is, and the, and uh, I wonder what would it, what they would have done with the third season, since they kill off uh, Velma. Like, will will Velma be a ghost or something? You know, that would have been strange to try to continue it. Um. Okay, yeah, yeah. Those, I, I guess that happened during this Halloween special or something, and then yeah, and then Scrappy fucking killed her or something. Maybe. Maybe that was just their sign of like, hey, I mean, fuck it, we'll just end Velma as is, right? We're actually going to end it. You know, they never intended for it to be anything more than two seasons. Maybe I don't know. 
Yeah, that whole thing with like Fred and like Velma and all, all the uh, Velma and um, Daphne, I don't know, all that other nonsense that they try to do. It's like, yeah, I was not for it. I didn't, I, I didn't bother with any full episode. I just watched some clips of it. And I was like, yeah, no, I'm not bothering with it. So, hallelujah. But it's two seasons too late. Yeah, yeah, no. Nah. Two seasons too much, you know. Two seasons too many. That's my piece on that. Okay, so I think this is. Uh, oh yeah, this is the same thing. Let's gonna move on. So Joker two, um, yes, uh, has been a disaster thus far. And there are like a bunch of notes, but I think we've, for the most part, um, covered a good number of them during our last little rant or whatever. But one of them, of course, shouldn't come with a surprise. Warner Bros. Discovery is already over $40 billion in debt. All right. Domestically open with uh, th $37.8 billion. Which is lower than the um, than Morbius and the Marvels. Universally panned, yes, pretty obvious. Had a huge budget of two uh, two hundred million dollars, right? Twenty million was given to uh, Joaquin Phoenix, and twelve million was given to Lady Gaga. Um, The idea of Joker 2, I guess, being a musical and all that stuff, apparently came from Joaquin Phoenix in a dream. That's what I'm assuming, anyway, the musical parts, anyway. Um, Todd Phillips had free reign with Warner Brothers wanting him to do his thing, quote-unquote, and the film had no test screenings. Yeah, that was also a big, big issue, too. James Gunn had no involvement, but he, he did get notes, but Todd Phillips did not use them. The musical aspect was largely downplayed in marketing. Um, Todd Phillips was secluded on a ranch during opening weekend. So what, he didn't like show, even show up to his, uh, t to the opening, I guess? To his, to his own movie. Yeah. That's what it sounds like. Um, yeah, it's looking pretty bad. Needs 450 million globally to break even. May lose the studio over 150 million. Yeah, good luck with that. So yeah, I think you said it. Nobody asked for it. Todd Phillips didn't want to even make it. And, um, he, I think he just kind of just said, fuck it. I'll do whatever I want. Didn't even care. And took, yeah, probably took, um, Phoenix's idea. Like, hey, let's make a music, uh, musical. Why not? Who cares? That movie was supposed to be one off, <clears throat> but one of the brothers is too, too, uh, up in their own ass about money. What up, brothers? Thinking, <laughs> thinking so much else. Oh, man, it's yeah, that's crazy. I mean, it's not dude. even an understatement. It, yeah. It's just like Jesus. Yep. What What else can be said that hasn't been said already for one of brothers' man? They're just in the the shitter. Uh, but meanwhile, the uh, Dragon Ball side is uh very much on the ups up uh upside. So once again, you know, Nozawa-san, with along with the uh, Diamond cast, did a promotional event thing, and uh, once again, she shows off her vocals. <laughs> yep, <laughs> gotta love it, man. She still has the energy to do. The Kamehameha's man. She is the goat. I like the I like the little yeah. <laughs> it's like a little different, you know. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. I, it just reminds me of um, what was it like her in that little short video she's like running to the studio and she's like I want to do this you know when I'm a hundred mm-hmm. yeah and it kind of now reminds me of um, what was it because you already watched Deadpool on Wolverine right what's up oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. It kind of now reminds me of that scene with the pool where we're gonna keep doing this till you mind me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, goosebumps, yeah, hype, all that stuff. Yep, good stuff. Good stuff. Let's see it, man. Uh meanwhile. Right, more Dragon Ball stuff. The uh, float, the moon bl balloon of Goku. Just Goku, plain old Goku. No Super Saiyan, no nothing. Plain old Goku is uh, making his way on Thanksgiving Day during the Macy's Parade. Uh, to celebrate the 40th, 40th anniversary of Dragon Ball. Right. And, you know, it's to sprinkle... On top of that, like to further honor uh, Toriyama's work and you know posthumous now, stuff, yeah. Is this Goku gonna suffer? Um, what Luffy suffered those many years ago? Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> the, the the tree branch man. You can tell that tree that tree alone that does not like One Piece. Yeah, it actively seeked out Luffy's like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how invincible Goku is in his base form. Gets <laughs> destroyed by a tree. A <laughs> tree, yeah. Wind and tree. Can't forget about the wind. I wonder if there was if there was ever a Macy's parade that rained. I wanna know. Maybe this year, I don't know. Alright. Uh oh. What's going on with that? Trying to get a picture here. Hold up. Alright, I'll just drag it up here. Okay. Right. So in celebration of the opening or debut of Daima, uh would you please uh read this statement uh that was written previously before his passing by Toriyama Sensei. Hello, I'm Akira Toyama. No, I, I'm not him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm currently working on a new Dragon Ball. The title is Dragon Ball Daima. Daima is a made-up term. Just like that person. Which in, Jap which in Japanese, uh, which in Japanese characters would be that. Daima. Or... Yeah, Daima. <laughs> no, it's like that. Yeah, that. Yeah. Or in English, would be something like evil or... Aku. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah. Due to a conspiracy, Goku and his friends are turned small. Again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In order to fix things, they'll head off to a new world. The Grand Line. <laughs> it's a see, it's a grand adventure with intense action in an unknown and mysterious world. Sandland. Yeah. Which Goku has to make up for his Petite size. He uses his uh, miombo or yep. power pole, which, when you think about it, with super or from Dragon Ball Z to super, where the fuck did it go? Was it just like locked in the attic? I uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he never he, he never uses the pole, and he never rides the cloud anymore. Yeah. Well, he gave Nimbus. To Goten. Oh, that's right. That's if right. I remember correctly. Yeah. yeah. To mm -hmm. fight something not seen in a long time. Emphasis long time. Yeah. <laughs> I came up with the story and setting as well as a lot of the designs. I'm actually putting a lot more into this than usual. Mm. Things will unfold that close in on the mystery on the mysteries of the Dragon Ball world. Hope you all enjoy these different from usual battles that are cute and powerful. Yeah. Thank you, Toriyama. And Akira. Yeah, Akira Toriyama. 
Thank, sensei. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Toriyama Sensei, for uh, your last uh, hurrah. Right. Your last great gift. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, yeah, Diamond will be can be said like uh, or translated as like great evil, right? Since uh, yeah, it's because die literally means like great or big or whatever. Yeah. And Ma is um, literally like using the kanji for um, Akuma or demon or evil. Uh, it could also be used for magic, right? Because magic does come come from a demonic thing, um, sort of, you know. Yeah. So, so Dragon Ball, great evil, right? That's like, hmm, that would be like an interesting translation, right? Or localization. But I think they'll just keep Daima, right? For um, the dubbing, maybe. Mm. Yeah. They're, they're not going to call it Dragon Ball evil. Like, what the fuck? Like, it'd be like a very misleading thing. <laughs> You know, and then like, and then when you watch the show, it's like, oh, why is Goku small? Why is Supreme Kai small? Why is Vegeta small? Like, you know, that type of stuff. Um, have you? You say you watched it, right? Or at least for a little bit? No, when no, I didn't watch it. Oh, you haven't watched it? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. See, I wonder if you have to watch Super before you watch um, Daima, or just go just go straight into Daima. Ah. Uh... I think they said Daima is supposed to take place after the current, the previous, um, the, the tournament arc. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They'll probably like give you like all the pretenses. Okay. So, so Daima is actually one day after the victory against Kid Buu. Oh, we got you way back. Oh, wow. One day. Jeez. Wow. Okay. So, hey, I'm... well, it says immediately following the victory of Kid Boo, but still, let's just make it like nicely. Yeah. But it's before Super. Let's just put it yeah, that way. This is way before Super. Okay. Got it. All right. Interesting. So that means I can watch it. I have to like go through super and then go back and then go back on in, in a timeline and then we'll watch Di uh, Daima. Okay. All right. Let's try to uh, power through these. But these, uh, I think this was a very interesting uh, piece of cosplaying, right? As we were kind of talking about cosplaying early on. Very, very creative uh, cosplaying of um, Eddie Brock and Venom. You know, obviously. Wood. Yeah. <laughs> What the him or the <laughs> or Venom? <laughs> Why, Why not? not both? Two for one. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like the creativity in this one, right? Because I, I just because obviously Venom that's his arm, right? His real arm, but his uh his arm that's tucked Don't in. Don't fucking <laughs> tell the magic god <laughs> you. <laughs> Pretty soon you're gonna say when we're watching on Marvel. Oh yeah, that's just CGI. <laughs> No, no, no one shoots beams, up, you know, out of their. Uh... <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Anything else you want to ruin for me? <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, so you know, his arm get will, will get super tired. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, so obviously the the arm that's tucked into the pocket, that's you know, hey, not the real arm, but the real arm is in Venom. Right, and he's he's doing all the the puppetry, Whoa. all that stuff. <laughs> whoa, <laughs> sir! <laughs> hey, you're telling me to whoa? <laughs> you're telling me whoa? You say this you, is not an you, AD you, account. This you, is not an after dark. Account. You tell you say you say you're saying whoa, but you just said wood, <laughs> right? So, <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Anyway, so yeah. But even so, uh, uh, hit, hit the movement and all that stuff is still like he's doing a good job, like, like kind of emulating the movement of a symbiote venom, right? Pretty cool. Symbiotes. Yeah. <laughs> very, very, very uh, creative cosplaying of of Venom and Eddie Brock. 
so yeah it, it kind of sucks now though of anyone if anyone wants to like else wants to try it like oh they just got it from this guy or whatever it's like you know but yeah i mean I, if you're a dude you do have a third arm right this <laughs> is just saying <laughs> just saying yeah hey man i mean you have it come out of your ass or something i don't know I bet I'm on your ass. <laughs> You're ready, it stinks in here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing in there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, I mean, I don't know. I mean, you know, uh, I wanted to get your opinion about it. Like, what, what do you, what do you think? What do you, how do you go? How would you grade this cosplay? It looked, it's good. Just yeah. wish the veins were more prominent and also trickling. Oh, you mean on the, the that's back. like actually touching the sweater? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I, I get you saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I wonder what, what, what it would have been. It might have been a little bit hard if it was a black jacket, but you know, you can have the white outlines. Mm -hmm. that he has in the movie to be you know the one to uh emphasize this i think yeah i think he chose this sweater color because it because uh, a contrast so you can see the rooting or whatever the roots and the veins and all the little yeah. things and such and i think it would have sold if it had the tongue yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I think he would have been been able to uh, pull off the tongue by having uh, his thumb be like the uh, the drive for the for the tongue. If that, I know that's a funny way to put it, but yeah, it, it, you know, the tongue will be, will do all that. The... And also, like, I mean, still to this day, um, Seth MacFarlane's version of um, drawing of Venom with his elongated um, jaw. Still my favorite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But because this is the um Sony version of yes. Venom. It's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is yeah, this is like this is Sony Venom, yeah, for sure. But yeah, no, I I think the creativity is definitely up high up there, for sure. Just the fact that like, yeah, like you know, it's like you either cosplay as Eddie Brock which is, I, I imagine, very niche, but um, Venom, yeah. But you, you'll definitely see more Venom cosplayers, but you never see it like this, right? Usually. So, yeah. I I, I liked it. I, I do like the idea of it. For sure. And then there was this one. Uh, I don't know if you watched it, but yeah. Um, it's like a 30-second ad of Venom eating... Uh, the hot ones, right? Hot, hot ones, uh, hot sauce with the wing on it, yeah. or with the yeah, with the wing. So this is the sauce that reduces everyone to tears. We have no tears. Oh. Our eyes are sweating. Give me the milk, caliente. Caliente. Uh, yeah. uh, that that gift. Yeah, you know, I'm like, yeah. It's gonna awaken a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> How right. do you know that, sir? <laughs> yeah. Explain. I like that. That's the the what do you call it, the smile before he uh, starts to like get all like, oh, it's hot. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I don't know. It just looks funny. He's like, hold it, hold yeah. it, mm -hmm. hold it. Yep. And then he's got the little snarl. Our eyes are sweating. Give me the milk. Caliente. Oh. <laughs> I mean, people already like crop the gif where yeah, he only course. like looks like he's like yeah. doing something. And yeah. it's like, yeah, yep. Yeah. Of course. They know what they're doing. That's me. Oh, they know what they're doing. <laughs> I'll share that milk with him. <laughs> What about the, what about the uh, fire ex ex extinguisher? 
<laughs> I don't want to die. <laughs> yeah. You ever got blasted with one of those? No, I don't. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Not fun. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I've watched enough Jackass. <laughs> I was the Jackass. <laughs> you was the Jack. Oh my God! What happened? Eh, seven was at a party. Somehow my the jacket I was wearing caught on fire from the birthday cake. Oh my god! What? <laughs> what? Oh my! Damn! It is because when I when I stood up and like and I kind of like turned the jacket, kind of like waves went oh. over. Oh, yeah, okay. waved over the flame, and it just. Damn, it must have been like I mean, super flammable then. Wow. I guess. And everyone was like, what? And I was like, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, when you're a kid, you're like, what? Oh, man. <laughs> Damn. I think you're like one of the first people I know, like, actually caught on fire like that. Un unintentionally. Un <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Unintentionally, yeah. I mean, I've had my, we've had our, but like, me and my friends had our fair share with fire, but to actually like be unintentionally caught on fire like that, yeah. Damn. I mean, family caught, you know, was quick. Yeah. Except for one of my aunties, like she almost threw the beer <laughs> in her cup on the end. <laughs> my uncle had to stop her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure if that would have uh, helped. Yeah, I think I would have died. <laughs> I think I would have been turned into a fireball, and I'd be like, "Ah, this is my life now." Yep, you you have been the the kid torch. <laughs> I would have been the birthday cake that everyone's gonna have to put out to make a wish. Yeah, that would have been something. <laughs> yep. So reminder. October 25th is when it comes out for Venom. Last dance. Okay. So last one of the day is involving with Monarch Legacy Part... Or not Part 2. Season 2. Excuse me. Uh, So, can you lead this one to sign us off? All right. With the disaster of Season 1 because of the kids... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it was it was more like uh, it could have been done better, kind of type of better. Uh, yeah, like like we said it before, yeah. the first half of the season should have been the past, and the then, past, and then the second part of the season should have been like trickling into the future. Yes, or the present Anyways. rather, but yeah, yeah. Okay, so mid um Amber Mid Thunder, yeah is being cast in uh, Monarch the Casey of the Monster Season 2. Mm -hmm. For those who do not, who are not familiar with the name, she is the Native American that was the heroine or the hero of um, Prey. The Hulu? Yeah, the Hulu um, Predator Origin movie. Mm -hmm. Really good movie. Yeah. Go, you can watch it in English or as um, when it came out, um, a few months later, uh, watch it in Native American. Mm, there are yeah. some scenes it actually makes sense why some of the characters said what they said. Uh huh. Yeah. So I hope she's. I hope she's related to somebody in Monarch. Yeah. And not like. She gonna die like in the first three episodes. Yeah, like yeah, just like a uh, a red herring or like an early villain type of or a early side character kind of person. Yeah, yeah. For right now, it just says uh, she's playing Isabel, I guess, and Isabel is just uh, described as an intelligent, powerful businesswoman. So we can only go off of so much of that. Oh, I wonder if she's the one that. Um... Because uh, if you remember when I call I, I called it that um, that security firm was going to become Apex. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I wonder if she's the one that actually pushes 
um, Apex to what we know what Apex was in Godzilla mm-hmm. versus Kong. Mm-hmm. Perhaps, yeah. One of the driving forces. Yeah. For that to happen. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, it sounds like no. she's more... She's more of an antagonist, maybe? We'll see. Mm-hmm. Or maybe she'll be like... Oh, you thought I was a bad guy? No, I'm a good guy. Hey, or, you know, I don't know. Aha, I have this ace. It was me, Austin. Yeah. It was me yeah. all along. <laughs> yeah. Maybe she'll have some sort of ace in a hole kind of thing. Who knows? All right. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I uh, uh Hopefully at this point, it won't be like, you know, jumping back and forth, like, oh, we're back in 1950 again, or 1955, or you know, whatever. Shouldn't be. No, yeah. I, no, don't, don't do that yeah. shit again. I'm sorry. Yeah. And then, oh, we're back into the present or whatever. Oh, Actually, no. If they're going to do the time jump shit, make it like, um, make it like. Uh, like sprinkle it in, not like it fucking takes half of the, sh- you know, half of the um runtime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was, the the, or, the jumping back and forth thing was happening constantly. It felt like yeah. it wasn't like all right, one episode was nineteen fifty or nineteen fifties, and then one episode was the present, and the other episode is nineteen fifties, and then or when uh Monarch was established, and then. This episode was the kids, and then this episode is the the adults or whatever, the like, past adults, right? If they are gonna do like the time jump again, make it into like a way the setting. So let's say let's say the the three because you know, they they're they're together in the past. Yes, they're doing research at the new established monarch. Blah blah blah. You know, they they talking scientific and scientific shit and blah blah. blah. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. And then they they hear you know like an alarm. And mm-hmm. when they turn, when they turn, it's like slowly dissolving into like the present. And then it's like the kids are in the exact kind of like in the exact same room or place, but now they're seeing like what. Or now we're seeing what they were seeing in the past mm-hmm. and what they're they're gonna like, you know, show that little transition. Like, yeah, 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 but, uh, yeah. Not like a hard fucking cut, like, like boom, yeah. <laughs> like, now prison. Yeah, like, like let's say like one of the kids is just like eating a bag of chips and all of a sudden, boom, you know, like in the past. Oh, they're fighting. They're like, I don't know, fighting some little monster thing. I don't know. <laughs> it's just like a random like <laughs> jump cut or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a janky ass jump cut. Yeah. <laughs> it's just them eating chips or something. It's boom, 1955. Or, they, <laughs> yeah. or it's like they did, like the conversation that was being was talking up that they were talking doesn't even set up anything. It's like they could be talking like as you're saying like chips, or they could mm-hmm. be talking about baseball, and all of a sudden. Boom! Fucking oh, the the past is like they're driving. Oh yeah, they, 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 yeah, they were driving Ooh. the jeep on the whatever mountainside or desert, whatever areas. Yeah, and it's like wait, it's like wait, what what does this have to do yeah. with fucking whatever we were just talking about? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, no, I no, I definitely, I definitely had some sort of feeling. I'm like, yeah, the jumping back and forth was very um, cumbersome. It felt for the story flow. But eh, I mean, overall, I was like, eh, it was it was okay. It was it was a nice little supplemental thing, like eh. a little more, a, a little more, a little on the indifferent side. But I didn't completely hate it. But I did, I but I did not like the the jumping back and forth thing the most out of, out of the jump cuts, jump cuts out of the negatives that I had for the uh, series so far. But hey, season two. I'll um I'll I'll make my time for it. I'll give it I'll give it that watch. Um. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. That's it. That is uh 
all we got for uh, this episode of the Hypecast. We're almost there. We're almost there to th uh, 300. We're that much closer. Yep. Yep. So thank you very much for uh, tuning in for this episode. We uh, uh, we appreciate that. So uh, I believe, yeah, next yeah next week should be fine, right? We should be good. All right. So that's the 19th. Yes, it's the 26th. I will not be here. Yes. The 26th is when uh, we will be taking a break for that uh, time or week. So, uh, but till, uh, but with that, until then, take care. Have a good one. And we hope to see you all in the next one. Bye bye. I'm <laughs> <laughs>